Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the uh, Ravioli Cassioli. By Soup and Pasta. Yes. I'm Soup, and this is Pasta, and, and this, this is, is our friend Chucky. This is Chucky. I can be, like, Parmesan cheese or something? The you, you want to be pasta? sushi? You like sushi, bro. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You're not in the group wait, yet. Wait, wait, wait. What, what, <laughs> what food do you really like? What did I really like? Because I love whatever, whatever, pasta. Whatever's put in front of me. Um, and that's his name, whatever's put in front of me. <laughs> Yeah. You like you like like mac and cheese, right? Sure, mac and cheese. Mac. All right, s- all right oh, soup we'll call pasta. Mac. I like that. Dude, soup mac. pasta mac. But wait, isn't that a combination um, of soup? No, that's still pasta. Yeah, but it's but it's, it's, it's like, you're it's, his it's underling. Whole, but it's the mac. That's what it is. Is you're it's his a underling. Whole another level. It's, it's the mac. Whole, it's it's a solo thing. Well, anyway, we're gonna be playing a little bit of Super Meat Boy. Yeah, and Joey's gonna play because he really more, wants to play I'm this game. It. Yeah, I'm not gonna be playing this game. I've never played this game before. Well, then prepare to get pleb. I love this game. It is really great. Prepare to. Oh, Alright, so, seeing as this is the first, hopefully, of many ravioli <laughs> castiolis. What do you think um, about the name, anyway? I, I kind of like it. Dude, I, I came up with dude, it. Dude, I love the name. It's Joey's idea. I want credit for he, it. He texted me the idea, and I laughed really hard. Um, <laughs> I did. It was this at, game is five years old, or six years old already? Oh, yeah. It's a whole movie about it. <gasps> the forest. Oh, yeah, indie game. The indie movie. movie. It also goes Phil over. Fish, the asshole. So, yeah. Right? So, what are the controls? Feel fish. Oh, okay, I guess. It's a. Just figure it out. It's a pattern for Dude. You jump and you run. It tells you how to play the fucking game. Is that game. a rabbit? Get the fuck over here. You gotta get. You gotta get. Uh, bandage Girl. Right, that's her name. Yeah, Bandage Girl. And you're your meat boy. Oh, okay, so I see. I can jump fighting, on walls. Uh, I think if you hold an R1, so you, you run really fast. That was not. You're not doing record. You suck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not breaking any records here. I want this fucking. Record. All right, so I was thinking that since this is like the first podcast we can do some like introductions okay sure so who, like, who wants to go i want to replay we, 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 can, we can talk about like our name because our names obviously aren't food groups um and then we can talk about like what <laughs> games we like to play uh like what movies we like music you know just a little bit about ourselves so people that can is what a podcast usually is about yeah just a little bit about ourselves let's so, start with uh steve yeah me yeah let's start okay. with pasta well my name's steve um pasta because I love pasta, and games I- my favorite game of all time is Bloodborne. That's awesome. And everybody fucking knows it. <laughs> yeah, everybody knows that. Come I on. have- I have four Bloodborne posters on my wall. Yeah, make sure you take were, a picture of that. They were- they were free, I didn't buy them. You totally I would have, though, because it's the best <laughs> game ever fucking made. I've beaten the game like you six really times. You don't think it's that good? I don't know. It doesn't really compare to Kingdom is Hearts. It, is what it the you... best game of all time or is it your favorite game of all time? It's my favorite game of all time translating to I think it's one of the best games ever made. Like, because we did a Let's Play of it and don't get me wrong, I thought it was a lot of fun. It's just that I feel like, I still feel like Kingdom Hearts is the better game. Nah, man. Favorite. See, no. Kingdom Hearts used to be my favorite oh, game. I can't. And then I played Bloodborne and I was like, this game just gets me, dude. It's like, it just, this, fuck. this it game just speaks you. to me. It knows me. Like a best friend would know me. Um, just ev- everything about Bloodborne, dude. Just like the music, the gameplay, the fucking themes, the setting. Like Victorian London is my shit. The gothic stuff. I fucking yeah, love that it. is pretty cool. Um, the and whole setting of the game. It's amazing. It's a masterpiece in my opinion. This game is really easy. 10 out of 10. It's, it's not. It, it's this not, is the not. introduction this level. This is the, yeah. Um, well, why are there two of me? So yeah, I love Bloodborne. <laughs> I play a lot of JRPGs. Like, for example, as everybody that ever knows me would know. Wish. My, my most anticipated game is Final Fantasy 15. Of yeah. all time, not just right now. Of all time. I've been waiting for the game for 10 fucking years. Oh, everyone has. And tonight, as the time of this recording, they're having the active time report tonight. that I need to watch. Um, and I also like to play like Kingdom Hearts and shit. I like to play fighting games like Smash Bros. Um, so that's like it for games. I like to play almost all games. I love shooting games yeah. and shit. Video games are just swell. Yeah. Yeah, they're just And they're, like for movies. Just great things. Oh, fuck. Um, I'm really partial to dramas, but my favorite oh. movie of all time, as of now, is Mad Max Fury Road. Really? I thought it was Donnie Darko. No. I love Donnie Darko, but Mad- You did a whole report on Donnie Darko, because like, it's two an years e- ago. Because it's an easy thing to do a report on. The report- Yeah, I guess so. The, the, report, of... the report was, uh, what's, like, symbolism in this movie? Like, what do you think it yeah. means? And Donnie Darko is full of that. That's so I, I wrote a paper on it. But Mad Max Fury Road is fucking amazing. It is- a, it, That is- How the fuck? Masterpiece. Yeah. How the fuck am I supposed to get past this? Um, they disintegrate when you jump on them. Yeah. And just so you know, you said, wow. why are there two of you? Every time you beat a level, it'll show you all of your lives. That yeah. Okay, that's, what, that's what I kind of, I came to that, fuck, I came to that conclusion, fuck! <laughs> but, um, yes, you're a so fuck. Dude, you suck. So really, drama is your favorite genre? I wouldn't really peg you as Well, I don't know, think yeah. about it. Drama has the most like, amount of energy in all of films, I, I guess think. It, I think it's, well, I mean, it's like, a broad like, range. Like, I mean, like, for, for example, like, 
I, I, I don't oh, really like comedies. I like most action movies. I feel like a lot of action movies kind of fall flat. Oh, comedies kind of suck. Dramas, dramas way too okay, broad. Okay, well, I'm, I'm saying narrow. I'm, I'm saying like a movie that isn't like comedy or drama, like or tra comedy or like a uh, comedy or trauma. Like, like a flat out action, a traumatic film. movie. Even though it's kind of weird because I say that Mad Max is my favorite movie, and that's like an action oh, movie. That's all it is. Like, but still, um, like I, I love movies like Whiplash. I really like the arts of movies like Birdman. Uh, I love, I love Harry Potter. Harry Potter is my shit. I love Harry Potter. Yeah, but, like, it, like if you quiz me on Harry wait, Potter, was, I, I know like every answer. But Harry Potter is a fantasy. Yeah. yeah. So what? It's a good movie. So it's oh, like okay, so it's, it's, there's it, definitely it, drama it, in that movie. It doesn't fall under the category of like comedy action. It's no, just I like, guess so. Oh. I feel like um, you're getting you're way too broad with your categories. Like I can I can tell you exactly what my favorite genre movie is. What's your favorite it's genre? Comic? Si it, no, it's Sonic? sci fi comedy. Sonic the Hedgehog? Sci fi comedy. Sci fi comedy. How many it's my favorite genre. There, there aren't many sci fi comedies. Son like, of a bitch. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, I, 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 would, <laughs> I, would, I would I would say uh, Deadpool probably be one. Because I, I feel that's like. Not a it's not even out yet. That's totally sci fi. Well, I'm saying that's like this kind of thing I like. Yeah. Like superhero movies? Like, I love superhero movies. Yeah, speaking of Deadpool. I'm really excited for Deadpool. <clears throat> and so are we still doing introductions? Yeah. I don't think I've talked about myself. Well, I, I didn't well, finish talking about myself because I kept getting derailed by <laughs> your fucking, how do we play the game? And then, yeah. Um, well, you're the talented one in this group. The one that's actually oh, good at games. Shucks. Don't, don't, Fuck that. don't make me get a big head. Well, I'll give you something. Oh, what else? Oh, yeah. I finished movie. So, <laughs> music. Um, I listen to almost everything besides, I, I'm not really in the country. I like some hip hop. I like the old hip hop. Modern day rap music. What kind of sucks. old hip hop do you like? Like, Fuck. like Wu Tang Clan and Eminem and shit. Really? Yeah. You like Wu Tang Clan? Yeah, dude. How come I've never? Nah. So I've never known that. Because I bought that album, ten thousand dollars for one album. Oh, oh no. yeah, you're probably that one guy. Nah. <laughs> he says it's under my, his bed. My favorite kind of music is like, you know, like metal, oh, and like rock and roll. I'm also partial to like the pop punk emo scene. Like right now, the only band I've been really listening to is. Uh, band modern called baseball. Modern Baseball. Fuck uh, them. Look at his shirt. Please stand up and show uh, the crowd. The 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 return of Modern Baseball. Sponsored by. I fucking sponsored, sponsored by, by Modern yeah, right. Baseball. Oh, this is. Dangerous. I fucking I love Modern Baseball, and I also love bands like Say Anything. I love bands like Slipknot, Twenty One Pilots. Um, yeah, just a bunch of music. I love EDM music, like Oliver Heldens. Fuck yeah, dude. Maddie and Dead Mouse. Fucking love all that shit. Speaking of Maddie, we're seeing him in a couple weeks. I think Tyler said the date was February twentieth. Twentieth. Seeing Maddie, um, at the Electric oh. Factory here in Philadelphia. But yeah, that's a bit. That's it for me. Who wants to go next? That's me. Uh, me, duh. Well, my name is Soup. That's my real name. Just kidding. My name is Joe. Soup or Joey. Or Soupy Soup. or Soupy. Um, <clears throat> I have blue eyes. I have blonde hair. I like long walks on the beach. Um, I don't know. How do I, how did you do this? How did you start off? I, I was paying I, attention to the video game. <laughs> I said uh, games <laughs> I like to play. Oh, games. If you, if you have okay. a favorite video game like mine, okay. Mine was, if you didn't know, my favorite game is Bloodborne. Um, you well, can say, <laughs> she's that fucking rabbit. <laughs> like that. You could say yours. Um, well, I'm an avid Sonic the Hedgehog fan. That's for sure. It's fucking autistic as shit. It's dude. not autistic, and that's something you shouldn't say. <laughs> Fuck. That's politically incorrect. Yeah. Um. If you've been around the internet, you know. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean. Um, but that's definitely not my favorite game. Um, I'd have to say. Kingdom mm, Hearts. Yeah, I mean it's up there, but the thing is, like, I didn't really grow. Like, I grew up with Kingdom Wait, Hearts. Is so, your like, favorite game like Dead Space? It was. Dead Space is a good game. When I played the shit out of it, I really played so much of that. I suck at this game. Um, it's not hard. It's not hard. I'm just not paying attention. Do you want me to play, Joe? You can take you, over. While do you want, I get, do you want me to get past the tutorial? No, dude, I was having fun with it. But... Just, uh, okay, on. favorite game. Hmm, that's actually a good question because I don't really know. <laughs> that was what fucking fuck? hard, dude. Plus. That was so hard. That was like five seconds. Alright, continue your shit, Joe. It's a bad Fuck. <laughs> I, I really like, like city building games and stuff like that. City Skylines <laughs> is really doing my shit right now. I play a lot of that. Um, but other than that, I mean, Dead Space definitely for sure. I played. Oh, I put so many hours into that game. Yo, I do. I fucking 100% of Dead Space on the not, Xbox. Well, actually, all, I, I never 100% of the first one. See, Dead Space 1's the easiest of the Dead Space It's definitely not. Right? Definitely no, not, no. because it has that point in the game where you have to do the asteroid shooting, and you cannot do that but on uh, Dead Space, impossible. we're talking about achievements, right? Yeah. Dead yeah. Space 1, the achievement to beat the game on the hardest difficulty is just to beat it on the hardest difficulty. You can save. But Dead Space 2, you have a limited number of lives. Fuck. 
Yeah. And, no, 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 no that's, that's not how it worked. Dead Space 2, you can only save three times. Right. Yeah. And then Dead Space 3 was you can't die, I think. You can uh, save as much remember. as you want, but you can't you see, die. But Dead Space I all then. three games, I played Dead Space 3 the least. I don't know. I don't really know why. I think I'm, it's because it was such a long game, and I played it a co-op with my friend, so when he wasn't playing, <laughs> I wasn't playing. Uh, but I never played Dead Space 3. I played Dead Space 2 a little bit, but Dead Space 1 was fucking amazing. Yeah. Dead Space I, 2 is just as good, I think. Throw on my enormous backlog of games I have to play. True. Yeah. True facts. I could, I, that'd be a whole podcast, me listing all the games I have to play. Um, Let's do it, dude. Oh, so music. Yeah. yeah. Music I like. Uh, a lot of EDM. I kind of bounce back and forth between genres, I guess. Like, whatever I main in, but right now it's all EDM for me. A lot of hardcore too, like Steve, and uh, pop punk too. But I haven't really been listening to that as much as I used to. What was that? <laughs> that, was, that was me I sucking some deek. Yeah. I want the band aid. Other than that, I mean, I don't know. Just a regular guy. How about movies? Yeah, movies? dude. Oh, movies. favorite movie? Oh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. That's Fuck good. yeah, dude. That's, That's a good movie. movie. Favorite movie of all time. Fuck. I like that movie. movie. I also like that movie. What is that thing right it's there? It's a band aid. What do you get that for? Oh. All right, so... <laughs> get it! I'm, I'm Chuck. Uh, favorite game? I don't really know. They're, like, I play I play a lot of games. I play... I watch a lot of movies, and it's kind of... I like them all. I think, just based off nostalgia factor, Halo 3. Probably my favorite game. Dude, I love Halo you, 3. I love, just, you know what? I remember when that game came out, and everybody was like, Oh, this game sucks compared to, the, like, 1 and 2. <laughs> and now that I think back on it, because I recently played, like, the... What's the, the Master Chief Collection? Is that what it's called? Yeah. And I'm playing through 1 and 2, and I'm just like, Wow, these games are awesome! And I'm like, but, like, I could not stop, like, wishing that I was playing Halo 3. Because I was trying to play the whole, seri the whole series through. Yeah. And the entire time I was like, wow, I really wish I was playing Halo 3 right now because that's the game that I played the most out of Absolutely. all the Halos. I mean, that's the game I played the most out of any game ever. I, th I think according to Raptor, which is a, a hours logging website if you don't know, uh, it connects to your accounts. I think my most played game is technically Gears of War 2. What the fuck? But definitely Halo what 3. Chainsaw? That's yeah. so badass. The bad guy. I remember um, back in the day, uh, Chuck and I would um, play Halo 3 all the time. All the time. All the time, and we would like exploit these glitches in Forge mode, like that one glitch, glitch, that one glitch on a high ground where you could like float in the air. That was awesome. Remember I don't that know one? That. On I have high... a terrible memory. Um, I think it the was best like, part. If you joined, if you went to the uh, monitor mode and you went all the way to the top of this one like rock, and you got out of Oracle mode or monitor mode, you would float in the sky. Oh, I think the best part about the Halo games, all three, well, all three, all the three first ones especially, because I, I, I never really played Halo Reach or like Halo Four. I think I play a little bit of Halo 4. Uh, they're nothing special, honestly. I, I hate Halo Reach, but Halo 4 is okay. Halo 5 was mediocre oh, too. My friend has got that one. We were supposed to play together, but it's, I don't have an Xbox, so I can't. It's 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 definitely my least favorite out of all the Halo games. It's just the story is no, it's not bad. It's not great. But, but the uh, best part about those games were finding the skulls. I thought that was the coolest thing because you're trying to break the game, sort of, because where the where they placed the skulls were in places that you wouldn't think they'd be. Or places where you wouldn't think you can get to. Yeah, yeah. So especially to break the game. Dude, in Halo so 3, awesome. the I would have been your daddy oh skull. God. Yeah. What the fuck is that? You have to go through like a fucking like pattern of rings in a special right. order. Yeah, that's in uh, the Covenant. Can level. you destroy him? No, you just have to get to the end of the level. Why was he changing colors? Because he's fucking dank as shit, dude. Um. So yeah, Halo 3, I think, needs some positive factor. I'm playing in. Uh, Technically, I'm playing The Witcher 3 right now, and I'm playing Life really? Strange at the same time. You know, I have a free um, copy of that game that I... The Witcher? Yeah, because when I was building my computer, like, a couple years ago, well, I was upgrading it. It just came um, out. Well, yeah, yeah, but, like, this is a couple years ago I was doing this. Yeah. I got, I, I bought a video card, and I got a free access key to the, like, a, for a pre-release. Huh? I, I couldn't play it, but, like, um, there's a... You know, you know, you know what Steam is. Everybody knows what yeah. Steam is. There's another thing that's kind of like that that NVIDIA released. It's called uh, it's GeForce Experience, I think it's called. But no, they, they have a... I think it's like NVIDIA Go. I think Fuck. that's what it's called. It's the same thing as Steam. It's like a marketplace. Kind of like how like you know EA has their origin, and then you play for, by Ubisoft, Ubisoft, which is... I will not condone that at all, because Ubisoft makes a terrible um, service. Like, Fuck Ubisoft. Do you, you play? What? I, I, I have you play, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, oh, that's what I'm talking about, yeah. yeah. But what I'm trying to get at... Is um wait what was oh oh The Witcher yeah. yeah so I bought the video card and I it came with a key and I still haven't used it and I'm pretty it, sure it's just sitting in my account somewhere. If uh, yeah. I I liken it to Bloodborne a lot because the way The Witcher Three is played it's very 
um, methodical. Like you have to you have to dodge attacks. You have to know when they're going to attack because they you don't really get ample time to. They don't they don't ever like show you when they're going to attack except for the health bar flashes in uh, Witcher. Oh. Like the health bar will flash, but you're fighting multiple enemies at the same time, so you gotta have, like anticipate their moves. You have like spells that only work on certain enemies and work better on certain enemies. You have oils that you can apply to your swords that you can use to weaken certain enemies and like your not weaken, but like your sword will do better against them. This is fucked up. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. All the squirrels are dead. Yeah, that's na that's the main character, Super Meat Boy Two. I bet that little squirrel out there. But uh, they're making a second one. No, I hope so because um, it's been six years. Yeah. I don't know how this game ends. They've done they've done a few extras. If you ever heard of um, oh, what was the one they did? Uh, Dark World. Is that like there's there like little portals in the game that you can go through? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Okay, because I think I saw that. Yeah, that's it's probably... like a, it's like a, a t tougher version of stuff, but. What's the other game? Um, Binding of Isaac. They did the Binding of Isaac. You know, same, that same game company. was on sale on Steam all the time, and I really want to buy it, but I, I never... It's it's weird. It's a weird game. Binding of Isaac is a good game. Yeah, it's like a dun it's like a Zelda dungeon crawler. I love stuff yeah, like that. I have it on here. Oh, but you know what game that it I've been playing? It was free for PS Plus. That I can totally condone, because I, I'm absolutely in love with this game. It's called The Forest. The Forest? I've heard of it. Is it's, that a spooky it's an early, game? It's actually, yeah. It's an early access game that came out, I think, February? Like, probably this time, around this time last year. Mm -hmm. And I remember when it came out, I looked at it because that was when I was playing like Space Engineers, Medieval Engineers, pretty much everything that's that's Minecraft would better. And I was looking at other games that were like that because early access games, I'm all about those. I, I'm always looking at them because I think the like not even just supporting like you know low end developers is a great thing. I, I do I I totally agree with that. But also the games that they produce are usually. Like you know, obviously they need a lot of work, but it, they're much better than any any AAA game that you could think of. Right. Yeah. Just because of what you can do in certain games, the, like the Rust, concepts. for example. Yeah. Like I love Rust. I play that game so much. Not as much as anymore because I'm getting pissed off at it because I keep losing everything. But that's besides the point. The Forest, when that game came out, it was terrible. I remember looking at it and I was like, this game isn't worth me even watching like the video for it because it just looks so bad. And just one day I was, um, you know, just browsing all over Steam, doing whatever. And the forest popped up in my queue because you know, like on Steam, that you have like the my queue the thing. It'll show you which games that they think that you might want. Oh, okay, okay. And I, they popped up, and I was like, you know what? Let's take a look at the video. Let's see, let's, I'll give it a chance. And I watched the trailer. And oh my god! I was like, dude, this game like kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Amnesia, uh -huh. a little bit, like yeah. the, the the horror style. So like, you know what? I got me and two of my uh, friends together. We're just like, let's just try this game. And it's like 15 bucks. It's not that expensive. Let's just give it a try. We've been playing it for two weeks. Like, it's nuts. We have, like, probably, well, given the time we've had to play it, probably about 60 hours logged into it already on just one play. Oh, well, one playthrough. It's, wow. it's, it's cool because it's not just a survival game. It has a plot. Like, a plot. <laughs> it has a plot. Like, you, there's something, you have to do things in the game. Like, mm -hmm. the whole game is about finding your son. And the antagonists of the game are just the... They're just like there's cannibals. Like uh, uh, the exactly. premises of the game is you crash. Yeah. You're with your son. You crash a plane. You're on the ground. You're like, oh crap, where's my son? You can build stuff in it too. Right? Yeah, yeah. I it's like, exactly it's, like, it's like Minecraft. Kind I've of. seen it. Like, like I mean, I, well, it's, I shouldn't say Minecraft. I should say sandbox. Yeah. <laughs> Everything. Every sandbox game is derivative of Minecraft. Don't you know that? Yeah. Just Minecraft is derivative of other games. Mm. So yeah. I almost done goofs. What were we talking about? We were talking about the forest and Minecraft and oh, a yeah. bunch of building Well, games. we pretty much finished up what we were talking yeah. about in the forest. And we found out that Great the game. HD... I recommend it. Try it. Yeah. yeah. You won't be disappointed. But I do have to say one thing. One more thing about it. Play it with friends because it's still a great game and it's all about exploring. It I almost said exploral. Exploral? Yeah, it's all about exploral. Um, but I just think without friends... It's just not fun. That's the same thing with any sandbox game. You can't go and play Minecraft by yourself. Like, I guess you could if, if you're into that, but like, it's just I don't feel like it's fun enough. It's a um, super alone. It's a multiplayer game, not just like with friends. In the yeah, room, and right? that's actually the one one other thing I have to say about it is that it wasn't co-op before. It wasn't multiplayer. It, it was just single player. But they added the co-op okay. and that made the game totally worth it. What are you looking at? What the? F the fetus is taking. Is that is that is that a pig? It's a fetus. It's a fetus instead of a, a, a robot. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about the bad guy. Jesus. I'm uh, talking no, about. No, it's a bad. Bandage girl. Bandage girl. Oh, bandage girl. She's covered in band aids. Yeah. But she's clumsy. Yeah. It's kind of gross. The salt factory. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, that uh, The Witcher 3 tangent got into the forest. I don't know how that got that happened, but. Um, I, 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 don't, uh, I don't know, actually. I think it was something about. They'll, they'll know. <laughs> they'll, they'll remember. They'll but anyway. <laughs> uh, 
I've also been playing Life is Strange, which is a pretty good game. I've only gotten through episode one. Funny story, I is bought that, it. Is that the like the five dollar Steam game that you can just like buy and you can just keep watching the story? It's like kind of like inter interactive story. It is an interactive that. story game. It's similar to the it's like Tales episodic. Tale. Like I mean, they released it in like bursts, like Walking like Dead chunks. and Tales from Borderlands. Um, it's about a girl. I I, it's I never a, played it. It's I, about a girl. I have who, Tales from the Borderlands for free. Yeah. What happens when you jump in the salt? Do you die? Yes. It's about a girl who uh, realizes she has she has time manipulation power, so she can travel back through time. But like, it, like she can just rewind time, and I, I don't think she can go forward in time. Really? But uh, yeah, so it's a it's a choose your own adventure game basically. Like you just you you do decisions, and like that spirals out of control. I love games, games like that. Yeah, and it's there's not a lot of action. I mean, like that's I, okay. I though. think most of it's like quick time events. If there's anything, I haven't gotten that far. I I had all five episodes on steam because it was like five bucks for all of them and i was like i'll buy them play the first one and loved it found out that they're doing an xbox one physical release so i pre-ordered that i got it and i still only have only played through episode one really? i've actually gotten very much farther but i hear the rest of it's really good so those are my speaking games. of steam sales i never played it oh, god they just had a huge sale on the whole sonic franchise oh okay. I, I went, like to, I went to town on that i went to town i bought sonic adventure one sonic adventure two i bought sonic lost world which I haven't played before, and Sonic Generation. Well, actually, I didn't buy Sonic Generations because I already owned it for PS3 when I had a PS3, and I beat the shit out of that game. I oh did yeah, everything yeah. I could. Sonic Generation is a slicky. That is a great, great Dickie. game. But you know what else is a great game? What? Sonic Lost World. Yeah. I well, I bought that, and I, I was able to use my controller with it too, and I've been just having so much fun with the game. Is this a Sonic just regular 2D platformer, or is it? No, no, no. It's 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 similar to. Um, you ever play Sonic Colors? You ever heard of it? I've heard of it. I never it's, played it. It's it's supposed to be the sequel to that game. Okay. Um, Fuck. but the strange thing about it is it it's not like it's not a super fast game. It's more about like what? That's like the opposite. I, no, well, I mean, well, listen, listen. It's just like you can go fast, but it's, it's not as fast as like, like go Sonic. Too gotta fast. go fast. <laughs> It's not like Sonic Generations where you press like square or X and you, you're like, just go, suddenly and you flying. Fly yeah, go! And, which is badass, but... Fuck, dude! You suck at this game, dude. Why don't you let me play again? Sure. Really? Yeah. Thanks. So you. Anyway, continue Sonic what you were saying. I can't anymore. I'm thinking about Super Meat Bull. Super... Super... Fuck. Um, the only Sonic game... I've played many a Sonic game. Adventure 2 Battles. Yes, but Adventure 2 Battles is one that sticks out in my mind. But... Escape from the city. No, there's... Yeah, City Escape. Take there, my leave us. Fuck. Dude, copyright. <laughs> oh. There's... Ah! <laughs> see? Yeah, that's not easy, actually. But here's the thing about Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, because I played the GameCube version. Fuck. Um, <laughs> is there another version? Yeah, there's yeah, Sonic there's the Adventure Dreamcast. 2 for the Dreamcast. Oh, and that's what I own. And 2 yeah, battle, battle was the GameCube version. Uh, the game kind of sucks. <laughs> I mean, like... And when you think about it, the only reason why we have like fond memories of it is because Chow, the, Chow. the Chow Garden. <laughs> and what we would do is you would play the best levels oh, to get kiss my to, ass to get dude, the power kiss my ups ass. to get the Chows. <laughs> but there's so many bad levels in that game. Like pretty much every level that you're not Shadow or Sonic sucks. Dick. Dude, oh, who else do you play as Knuckles? You play as Knuckles, you play as Rouge, you play as Tails. Eggman and Tails. Well, okay. And like, fucking yeah. Knuckles. Honestly, stages? okay, Wait, even though I'm a diehard Sonic fan, the only levels that I really hate, fuck, are this is really hard. Everything from Sonic 06. Don't talk about that game. I don't I don't, don't want to talk about it. That's not a Sonic game. It's not a Sonic game. No, a... but wait, on Adventure 2 Battle, Adventure Knuckles, 2 Battle. Knuckles stages and Rouge stages, finding the jewels, what the fuck I is that? I love it, dude. They suck. Fuck. You know what else sucks? Me at this game. They're awful. Like, they're terrible ah! levels. And they're totally just randomized and they suck. The only. No, the, the only bad the part only about Sonic Adventure 2 is every game besides Sonic's and Shadow's levels. No, that's not true because I really like um, Knuckles and Rouge's levels. They suck. I hate Eggman and Tails' levels. They were. Like, Here, the only. The, I was like, I was like, damn, I have to go through another right, one of these. Alright, the only good thing about. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> Rouge and Knuckles levels. It's not even Rouge. Knuckles has the level on Pumpkin Hill, and that oh. song is fucking You ready? Ballin'. I ain't gonna let it get, get to, to me. me. I'm just gonna creep. And here I don't on Pumpkin know Hill, I'm gonna. I don't know the words. I know that it's here. I sense it in my feet. Fuck. I had the great Emerald's <laughs> power. It allows me to steal. Feel. I know that it's around and blue day. What is up here, Steve? Am I supposed to even go up here? You have to go all the way to the top. This level. <gasps> It's like a game. You have to go to the top. There's a destination. What the fuck? This game Joe? sucks. You want to give it back to me? <laughs> You're running I'm, right into the top. I'm, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to give it back to you. All right, fuck this, sh Here, fuck okay. this game. It's all you, Chucky. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, Chucky hasn't played yet. Whoops. Sonic Adventure. 
Sonic Adventure 2. Oh wait, there's another Sonic game? I only played it once because Chucky back in the day, we go way back. This is like sixth grade. Is it? Yes. Yeah, we also you, go way back, Steve. Not as way back as me and Chucky go. I've known Chucky since second well, grade. Don't make me feel bad. Um, here's the thing. In sixth grade, Chucky got a Wii. He got a, he got a Wii. A Wii. Six hundred dollars? Ain't shit. <laughs> um I, I still remember what it was called the Revolution. No, it was called Sonic. Black Knight and the Secret Rings. Yeah, oh, that game, game was... and that game sucked. <laughs> that game, yeah, that game was so bad. Okay, there was a string of. I Sonic remember games. going over his house and I was like, "Dude, you have a Sonic game?" And I was like, "Yo, let me play that shit." And it was the worst game, fucking okay, ever. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna Sonic go ahead and, and make a Secret statement. Rings. I think every Sonic game between 2005 until 2010 or 11 it was terrible. Terrible. Nothing good came out of those years, but. As soon as they really, little, Yo, and soon Sonic, as they release Sonic and Generations, and Sonic Boom, fuck Sonic Boom. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so dude, that game is so bad. The so official Sonic the Hedgehog game, or they, the, the they apologize for it. Right? Yeah, they apologize for it, and they also make fun of that game constantly. They make fun of their own. They make fun of their own they um, know, front they, man. They know how much they suck. So, uh, but like then, so then, then they go much, and release games like Sonic Colors. Sonic, so in like the past fifteen years, the only good Sonic game has been Sonic Generations. That's not true, because there's Sonic Colors and there's Sonic. Uh, what did I talk about? Sonic Lost World. And Generations. <sighs> Generations was good. Generations I came out after Sonic I didn't uh, play. Colors. I didn't play Lost World. I really want to play Sonic Colors. Colors. I actually haven't played it yet. You should. Wasn't it supposed to be like Sonic 4? No. It just wasn't called Sonic 4? No, that's Sonic 06. Sonic 06 Sonic was supposed years. to be Sonic Adventure 3. I think that's what you're thinking of, right? No, because there was Sonic, then there was Sonic 2, and then there was Sonic and Knuckles, which was also Sonic 3, and then there was... I'm pretty oh, sure no, no, no. They, they made a Sonic 4. I'm pretty sure Colors was Sonic 4. No, right? no, no. They made a Sonic 4. For what? the for the PS3. You don't, you don't remember the PS3? that? For PS3? They made a Sonic 4? Yeah, yeah. You don't remember that? They made a Sonic 4, which... Oh, no. I mean, I actually didn't play it, but I heard it was, it was a episodic. decent game. You, you don't want to talk about Chucky? Episodic. Yeah. yeah. What? what? That's, that might be, he said episodic. <laughs> what does that, that mean? It, they, they, they released it in chunks. It in chunks. Oh, yeah. They Kinda released like episode 1 and episode 2 after they released the first game. Kind of like Half-Life. It's pretty, yeah. pretty much cop copying like, games. Like the Final Fantasy VII remake being episodic. That's relevant. Which, by the way, I'm totally cool with. As long as they get the game out faster. Oh. Wait, you're saying Final Fantasy VII, the remake, is going to be episodic? Yes. They're releasing that. That's kind of a bummer. They're releasing that multiple parts. Well, it's because it's going to be like... It's going to be a great game, though. Yeah. Here's here's the reason why I'm cool with it. It's because... Okay, I swear to God, if you die on this part again... The reason... You son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I'm cool with it is because... Alright. If they recreate the whole game and put it on one disc... It can't, it's gonna take them forever to make it. It can't be. I, the game's I, so huge. I, I'm not even using that excuse because Final Fantasy 15 is also huge. Like GTA 5 was huge, and they fit that on kind of one disc. Either had the install disc and then the play disc, but GTA it, 5. It, you, yeah, oh, the, that's for the the Xbox 360. Like PS, yeah, that's PS3. Had, well, actually, I got the PS3. I only have one disc. But so. here's what I'm saying, right? If they remake the so whole game, for life. They, if they remake the whole Final Fantasy 7 game. I'm not using the excuse, oh, it's too big to fit on the disc. Like, fuck that. If they remake the whole game on one disc, it's going to take them forever to get it hold out. Hold on, hold on. Is the original game not on one disc? It's on three It's discs. on three discs. Okay. But they also released it as, like, a bulk three-disc thing, like every RPG yeah, at the time. Yeah, they did that with... Oh, like, man, there's one game for the Dreamcast. So, if remember. they're going to release this game, and they want to release it in parts so they can get it out faster, I am totally cool with that. As long as I can get to play the game, and they also made the promise that each part is going to be like the length of a full game, like 10 or so hours. Like, that's fucking cool to me. As long as I can play this game quick, yeah. I don't give a fuck. I mean, they'll come out definitely faster, but then uh, after, after 10 hours, you're going to be like, I want more. I'm thinking that and they're going to release wait. it. I'm thinking they're going to release it in 2017 for the 20th anniversary. That'd be cool. That would be cool. So, yeah. That was a really big tangent on Sonic. What are, Holy what? fuck. We're wait, talking about Final Fantasy. We're, wait, we, wait, we ended that a while you beat, ago. You beat the level. Yeah, I got the next level. Yeah, Sweet, we, we, dude. I made a note of that. What a champion. Um, I'm trying to think what else I'm excited for. Oh, what's that new Ubisoft game that's coming out? It's called... Um, wait, we didn't finish Chucky's introduction. Division. What? Fine. <laughs> Chucky cool. didn't do he didn't do movies and uh, he didn't do music. He just uh, did games. I'm not a huge music fan. I'm pretty sure he played You're not a huge music fan, I don't believe I, uh, you. I listen to music. He I, wait, he likes a band called Ludo. Ball and band. Yeah, they're a great band. I love Ludo. I have to admit, I don't know Chucky as well as Steve does. Aww. I've only met Chucky a couple times. Yeah. Well this is why it's fun. Because 
Not only do you not know Chucky, nobody else knows Chucky. Yeah, absolutely. Besides not. me. But nobody knows me. I'm either. the only one. That's yeah. Slowly. You're getting really good at this game. Uh, it's almost like he can play platformers. It's like he's played them before. You ever play Shovel Knight? Let's play uh, Sonic yeah, actually Shovel Knight 3 and, and Knuckles. I okay. Wanted to, I I really want to play that game, actually. Shovel Knight? I, I bought Sonic 3 Knuckles wow. for like every system available. Yeah. Like, I have it on on, like, on Genesis originally, oh. obviously. Because who doesn't own that? And I have it on Game Boy. I have it on DS. I have it on 3DS. Actually, no, I lied. It's only on DS. I have it on computer. I have it on uh, GameCube. Which means I have it on the Wii. Yeah. And that's the end of that. <laughs> yeah. You want to talk about like like a like a topic or something? Current news. Yeah, uh, like Detective Pikachu. Yeah, for sure. He was talking tonight. about this, Joey. You can make a video if you want. There is a game coming out in Japan called Detective Pikachu. Sign me up. And it's it's a Pikachu wearing the Sherlock Holmes hat, and he's a detective. And he doesn't sound like Pikachu. He sounds like like a like a like a deep voice. Who's that? Like a deep voice <laughs> Japanese, like Kamado. Like, um, That's pretty cool. Like a deep voice Japanese what Pikachu. What's that for? Uh, like 3DS. Phone? Oh, okay. It's really cool. That sounds cool. like an app game to me. But it's like the only Pikachu that sounds like that like because because in the trailer they detected Pikachu talking to another Pikachu, and another Pikachu just sounds like a regular Pikachu. He's like Pikachu. Wait, Pikachu. did you say? Did you just say? So how did you got, find out about this? One? Pokemon Go got canceled. He told me about it. Is that what you said? Yeah. Pokemon Go didn't get canceled. The one that was going to be on your phone? I didn't yeah. hear about that. Wait, it got yeah, canceled? Yeah, it got canceled a while ago. What are you talking about? I don't think that's true. I, you, I heard it got canceled. Are you sure? Are you sure I'm, you didn't get trolled? I am positive I read that somewhere. I don't think they would cancel that. There's so many people that are excited for that. Yeah, but They just released a TV spot for it. I think you should look it up so we're not giving our, our, uh, I'm our gonna, future fans... You know, I'm gonna take a gander. It's, <laughs> excuse me. I'm about me. to get flamed. <laughs> you should also show up... Excuse me. Show. Put it on. Yeah, that's the name of this podcast is Pokemon Go's Cancelled? <laughs> <laughs> Breaking news, you heard it here first. First, first. Foist. Foist. New update hints about Pokemon Go following Nintendo NX Nine Augmented Reality Damn it, Link. I must have been misread. Yeah. Misled. What do you want, crack? Anyway. Okay, anyway, so let, let me pull a Pikachu, uh, Detective um, Pikachu. So, speaking of this, which is a good, a good, uh... Segue, yes. Segue. Well, no, it actually relates to it. There is a petition in America to get Danny DeVito to play the role of Pikachu in the American <laughs> Why American Danny game. DeVito? Because Danny DeVito is a perfect human being, that's why. Have you ever watched It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Of course, who Of hasn't? course. Yeah, it's, he's perfect. I don't, I, although, I have to say, I, do not, I have not watched Danny DeVito was really good in Matilda. Anybody see Matilda? I've seen Matilda. Good movie. I thought I remember. Danny yeah, DeVito's in it. Was was played... Isn't it an old movie? Yeah. Very old I movie. I don't remember. The actress who plays Matilda is very active on Twitter, and it's pretty funny. Dude, Matilda's a great movie. I like Matilda. Where, like, he's like, uh, punished for being smart. Punished for being a smart aleck. When a person is bad, that person deserves to be taught a lesson. Person? Get up! And he fucking takes her to the room and beats the shit out of her with a belt. And then she uses her telekinesis to rip his heart out. It's a fucking good-ass movie. Alright, Detective Pikachu. Is it not a comedy? Danny DeVito. I've never seen Danny DeVito. I think it's not comedy. I'm surprised you've never seen. All right, this is it. Good try. This is it, Joe. Let me lower the volume so it's not blaring. Uh, All right, Joe. Detective Pikachu. What was that fourth video? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a likely story. This I mean, is really cool. We can talk over it and watch it. Like, it just seems to get a gist of it. Yeah. I this is this. so serious. Is this a TV it's show? It's fucking awesome. It's a game. No way. Yeah. It's a trailer for a game. You'll see the gameplay later on in the thing. But, uh, yeah, it's a departure from what Nintendo usually puts out, I feel like, you know? Yeah, right? Especially for a Pokemon. Like, I mean, they put up, they had Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and all that stuff, but, like, a voice acted Pokemon. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon was. I, I, I didn't like that. I, I, I didn't play it, but I just didn't like the idea. I Me had neither. The first one. It was okay. Um, actually, I have, I have the fact it. that Pokemon could talk to each other and they had voices. What the fuck? Yeah, right. <laughs> what? Can you go back a little bit? Look at him. He's so angry. See, whoa! Dan DeVito would be perfect for this guy. You should, there's a massive video online of his Lance from So It's Sunny, and uh, it, it's pretty good. You hear the voice? It's like. Yeah. Dude, I, I'm so on board with this. It looks fucking awesome. It's totally one of the games you get for the 3DS. 
I need to play. I have Ocarina of Time End. Yeah, I have a 3DS. I don't utilize it at all. Like, I play Animal Crossing and I play, like, Mario Kart. I have, a, I have a 2DS that I got for Smash Bros. And, like, Sonic the Dark If Moon. you ever want to borrow Wind, uh, not Wind Waker, Ocarina of Time or Blue's Mask, I have both of them. <laughs> I don't know what. I'm not watching any more videos. Oh, this is a Happy Wheels thing. Fuck that. Anyway, it's, happy wheels. it's, a, it's one of those, like, trials games that are, like, really hard. Like, a, it's like a bike, you know, bike. Oh, oh, yeah, to, like, yeah, yeah. Hit, yeah. It's like a obstacle course. Those games are awesome, actually. They're pretty funny. Happy Wheels is cool. I like Happy Wheels. Whoa, right into the pillar. Yeah, pillar of salt. It's like my tears. Jeez. That's <laughs> deep. <laughs> God oh, damn, go. Chuck. Dude, you're fucking rocking this game. You have to go on the bottom. There you go. Oh. Wait, did you get into the warp zone? Wait, nope. I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna bother. Right warp zone. How many? How long did it? Whoa. Whoa. Missiles. Holy fuck. Oh. Yo. No chill. Dude, first try. Yeah. Anyway. Ooh. Okay. Uh, so what we're talking about? Pokemon Detective Pikachu yeah. Detective. Can you destroy it? Oh fuck. Oh shit. Huh? I don't think you can. They can't. You have to get up to the key. The key! Holy hell! <laughs> Dude, like oh, he knows. He knows how to play this game. Uh, oh, that sucks. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. So, is there anything you want to talk about, Joe? Uh-huh. I've been pretty consumed in this video game. Yeah, right? This video game is very consuming. It is very consuming. Um, so, Pokemon... Pokemon, I think that's going to be one of the games I got for 3DS. Uh, yeah. I haven't played, I hardly play my 3DS. It's a problem. So do I, yeah. I have Ocarina of Time and Wind Weaker that I want to play. I have Animal Crossing. I, I oh! <laughs> Pokemon. Ocarina of Time for the 3DS. Yeah, I have Pokemon, uh, I have the remake of, what's the, the Ruby, Ruby and Sapphire. Ruby and Sapphire, and I have X and Y that I haven't played. I played X and Y um, a lot. Dude, I got into like all that breeding shit. What? Like I would breed Pokemon to get like perfect IVs. That's I was a total nerd. Dumb. I would spend hours just hatching eggs just to get the perfect Pokemon. I, I never understood that. I feel like that's way too much time spent on a Oh, Pokemon. it totally is. Like, I understand spending, like, endless hours on a Pokemon game, because I'm, I'm sure <laughs> I'm guilty of it, too. I, it's just, I don't know. See, this it, is it was, of, this, it's always fun. The problem with Pokemon to me is that you have to devote a lot of time to it, because it's a grind fest, essentially, you know what I mean? It is yeah. a grind fest, absolutely. It's, it's, and sometimes it's just not... Well, it's just like most RPGs. Ooh, most RPGs are grind fests. It fucked. Like Persona. Like I play Persona 3 a lot, and that's a huge grind fest. There's no way you have to go on the right side, yeah. yeah. What was I gonna say? Oh, we could talk about like, are there any games coming out that you're looking forward to? Like, oh, the really one Ubisoft game. I we got the off division. track with that. It was uh The Division. Yes! That's it! The division. The beta's out, did you get into it? No. Me neither. <laughs> I, you I can. Play, dude, I'm, I'm a PC gamer, dude, so I don't you, usually. You can pre-order on your PS4, and then get the beta code. You see, like when I first heard see, about I the game, it was like last year. Flop. Last year I heard about that game, and I thought I, I can't remember every feature about it, but I remember it being like really cool. Like you could set up your own like teams. Yeah, and like but like NPC teams. Yeah. And like you would gather people. I can't remember exactly. It's kind of like having a settlement in Fallout 4. That, that's what it reminds me of right now. God, don't even get me started on settlements in Fallout 4. I have something let's new for you this about, time. Let's talk about I have something a little different for you this time. time. <laughs> a settlement is in need of our help. Uh, <laughs> I, I haven't even gotten that far in the game. And, and what? I can't. Yeah, I, I stopped I playing. haven't beaten it. I haven't played it. I've been guilty of just Fucking around with it. I've I I stopped playing it in, in favor of uh, Witcher Three because I hear really good things about Witcher. I've never played it. Um, the settlement system in Fallout Four is so. It and then got rid of it. Yeah, because I'm not even a fan of Fallout. The settlement it was the hype that it got to me too. Yeah, the hype. I was like, yo, I want this game. I was going to oh, buy the, the hype, hype book. Honestly, that's why, uh, that's why I bought it is because of the hype. But I don't, I don't regret buying it because I love all the uh, um almost at Elder Scrolls game, yeah. all the Bethesda, Bethesda games. <laughs> I got into the hype, and then like six months after the hype, I was like. I really don't want this game, and I canceled it. I had the Pip Boy edition and everything pre-ordered, and I was like, "Fuck it!" Yeah. I Everybody had the Pip Boy. Fuck. Everyone we're, we're friends with had uh, the Pip Boy edition. I had the Pip Boy edition. Pre I pre-ordered it like three days before it was out. I, I remember because uh, Suzanne told me about it, and I was like, "Oh fuck!" I totally forgot about it, and I wanted to go uh, pre-order it. Dude, R.I.P. What were you gonna say about the Pip Boy edition? Show? I had the Pip Boy edition pre-ordered for the PS4 on accident, and I had it on accident. It. Well, I have an Xbox One. I don't PS4. Oh, yet. oh, right. Um, I plan on getting one eventually, but. 
to get Bloodborne. Yeah, I of think, course. Um, yeah, well, actually, yeah, Bloodborne's <laughs> on my list. Uh, Bloodborne, Jeez, Dude. Collection, Last of Us. <laughs> you missed the platform like yeah, six yeah. times. I know. It's actually twice, so get your eyes checked. <laughs> God damn it. Listen, Joey. It's the easiest, so it's the hardest. But um, you're the one wearing contacts. So Fallout 4 was was good. I Four. I I I tabled it because I heard The Witcher 3 was really good, and I really wanted to play that. I uh, got it on sale on Amazon. Um, but Fallout 4, the problem I have with Fallout 4 is the Whoa. fact that <laughs> the settlement system, when you uh, put walls down, they don't they don't snap in place correctly. They don't. And you can't the fucking uh, sanctuary has pre-built cement foundations and for houses, and they still don't, and they snap don't work. I know. What the fuck is wrong with that? Why would I... you allow someone to t take the house down, have a cement foundation, and not let your building system adhere to it? And also, like you can't float. It's not like a free form building. Yeah, and it's it's just like regular regular like like character movement building. I just I, I don't understand what their process of thinking was with that. Like, like, There's so many mods that they already like people I, have already like made. That I can't you can wait. Now like on PC obviously yeah. that you can just fly around and build. And there's also like like perfect snapping mods and stuff like that. I've seen a lot of that. Well, hopefully, once they release mods in the Xbox, it'll yeah, be it's gonna. I'm, gonna I'm definitely. I saw some guy. He made an entire oil rig they right off they... the coast of like. Uh, Oops! Wow, get <laughs> fucked, dude. Uh, you let that happen. I did. I wanted to see. Um, he made. A, he made. Oh wow, it was crazy. He made a whole oil rig off the coast of like uh, where the Brotherhood of Steel is, which is there in an airship. But oh, jeez, I didn't um, think it crushed you. Yeah, uh, I've seen. They've already put Macho Man in the. In the game. Oh yeah, I saw that. <laughs> really? That's yeah. awesome. Did you see the Star Wars mods? For uh, Fallout 4? Yeah, those are really cool. You can. People have been dressing up as like Darth Vader and stormtroopers. I've that's seen the Buzz Lightyear sick. mod on the uh, <laughs> on the uh, power armor. That was, that was pretty funny. That's awesome. My favorite mod so far is the. Uh, over ex overly expressive facial God, mod, China. which where, I think I showed you the you video. You did show me it, dude. That's awesome. It's, it's basically <laughs> a bunch of people. Well, a bunch of people. Wow. Every character mod on the game. Now, every time they talk, they just everything they say is expressed like extremely. And so, like when they say like, "Oh," like the whole mouth just like yeah. contorts into like some giant big hole. It's that's, so funny. That's awesome. That, that, that video will never get old. Yeah. Um. I, I am a fan of I don't play Grand Theft Auto. I that would be too much of a time sink for me. But I I love the mods in Grand Theft Auto Five. I've They're so great. Videos. Yeah. My favorite one is the Hulkbuster armor mod. I feel like is is really fun. If you ever get a chance to watch the Funhouse video, there's a plug right there for Funhouse. Funhouse. Uh, you should watch that. Um, I don't I don't. There's some videos of them others I don't like, but any time they're playing Grand Theft Auto mods, it's it's a fun time. But uh, I would get that game for the mod. I, can't I really I really for. really like the car mods for that game. They released a flash mod for that game. We can run around really fast. Oh, you, can run, you, you can even run on water. It's yeah, fucking, pretty cool. It's fucking cool. I've seen that one too. They, uh, I think, the, when the Funhouse guys did it, they did a combination of the Flash Mob, the Flash Mod, <laughs> Flash Mob. Yeah. yeah honestly, and, when you said that, I thought you meant Flash Mob. And a mod that you can, um, that every car that comes near you. I think it either pushes it away or it brings it closer to you. So like they'll be running through this tunnel and the cars just go <laughs> flying everywhere. <laughs> it's 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 awesome. It's really funny. That's the only reason I buy that game is for the mod. I watched this comparison video between Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto 4. And as it turns out, like there are so many more things that Grand Theft Auto 4 has over Grand Theft Auto 5. Like for example, the AI is so much better in Grand Theft Auto 4. Like, so, like, for example, if you're walking up to a police officer and, and you pull, like, you don't have to pull out a gun, because if you pull out a gun, they'll start, they'll start shooting you. If you just, like, bump into them uh, and you just stand there, the police officers are get, start getting pissed off and they're going to throw out a five. And eventually, they pull out their guns. They don't even try to arrest you. They just start shooting your ass on sight. Yeah. Kind of like how it is today. But... Dude, don't even get me <laughs> <In real life. laughs> Don't even get me fucking started on the cops in GTA 5. In GTA they're 4? Fucking... They're so much better because they're, they're they'll just be like, oh, what shit. the hell, man? They won't leave you alone. The cops in GTA 5 are like impossible How does to get rid jump? of. Uh, it just it's this specific level. Every of the warp levels give you a different like uh I, I think they're all And you also look different. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's a warp zone. You know what you know another game? Another indie game that's similar to Super Meat Boy in a way that has these kind of levels is Bit Trip Runner. You ever played Bit Trip Runner? No. no. Bit Trip Runner is I know what it is though. Fucking awesome. It. It's a rhythm based platforming game where um it's like Wait, is it the guy that runs and he's like rainbow behind him and yeah. he's in all black? Yeah, you can play as him in this game. Yeah, I know you can get him. I think that's why that reminded me of it. But um, they have like special levels that you can go into and it's like 2D and you just like jump over like 2D objects because the 
Picture Printer 2 is like 3D. So oh, you want to die? Yeah, I want to play. That's fine. Go ahead. All right. Um, yeah, Picture Printer is a Fuck. great indie <laughs> game. They have like a whole series, and the music is amazing. It's really great. Um, Adam Gucci actually does a couple songs for too. Who does? Right. Adam Gucci. They're a chiptune band. Yeah, they're really good. They're really good. Chip they, they, band? They good. Chiptune. Yeah, um, it, they use. Band. Yeah, they use uh, oh, the they use music from video games or oh. sounds from video games to make their music. Oh, that's so, so cool! To like blips and bleeps and jumps and like Mario one like ah. one ups. <laughs> oh, awesome! Yeah, you have to get across there. <laughs> dude, I think that's so cool when people do that. Actually, the one dude who actually lets us use his music, uh, QB, he's really good at that QB? shit. Isn't that the guy from Naruto? No. Well, yeah. It's a, uh, I think <laughs> it's, it's, it's the nice it's, it's, box, right? I'm kidding. It I know. Cat. I know what we're talking about. Cat. That was a joke. But yeah. QB is fucking sweet, and he uses a Game Boy to oh. make music. Yeah, they use like, Game Boy. He uses a program Game Boy. It's fucking also, awesome. Shout out to QB right now. Yeah, I just I gave a shout out. Well, I want to give it because thank I'm you. part of this group, and right. I didn't say anything. Right. About thank it. you, QB, for letting us use your music. Thank you, for QB. I, 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 I love the music. It's great. Um, so yeah. Oh, Woo. that was a nice backflip. You guys know, it's bro. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do now, Joe? <laughs> Who knows? I'll fi I'll figure it out. No. Damn it. So, uh. Um, anything else? Anything else newsworthy? Well, I, mean, I suck at this game. That's newsworthy. That's, that is, like that a lot of the a lot of the news, news we can talk about is just like I kind one. of. I won. Won. Okay. What do you? F how do you feel about Assassin's Creed being delayed for a year? You heard about that? I fucking love it. And it's gonna be set in ancient Egypt. About that. Oh, uh, according cool. to rumors. But oh! Kotaku, Kotaku's always 100% with their Assassin's Creed rumors. You know, tangent. You know they're actually blacklisted from uh, Ubisoft, Ubisoft and Bethesda because Why? they they've leaked so many Assassin's Creed games. Like they leaked Unity, they leaked Syndicate, they leaked all these games like months before they, they were announced how officially. Do they, how did they get the information though? Inside people, source. Inside sources, people, I know Unity got leaked because someone watched a developer access files or a play test on a, the computer, on a laptop, oh, on no. a plane. And they had it right out in the open and someone's like taking a picture and stuff. I know that happened. Um, Holy shit. But Bethesda, they actually got leaked the script from the first half hour of the game, um, like when you're in the the spoiler alert when you're in the cryo tube and everything. Oh, in Fallout 4? 4? Yeah, and they um, they, it's not a spoiler uh, anymore. Everybody knows. Yeah, whatever. But, you know, it's being just being just to be considerate. Yeah. So they uh, leaked that, and it was on on the on the spot. Everything, everything was perfect. Fuck. So Bethesda, they don't get any advanced copies from those companies anymore. Which they don't like. They they claim they don't care about it. They say that they. Oh, uh, Kotaku doesn't get any Kotaku, advanced copies. They don't get advanced copies from Bethesda or Ubisoft because of the leaks that they've given out. Dude, that sucks. Kind it's of. Like, it's but it's like, also cool that they're like. Well, they're, they're, it's, it's cool. Like, they're, they're actually reacting. It's to like them. it's like that. That powerful though. They stand. Well, it's not. It's not just so that. Fuck it, with. The, I think the cool part is they stand by their decision. Like they they're kind of whole like holy about like oh we we did the right decision. We're trying to hold up journalistic integrity and all that stuff. But yeah. I just think it's cool. Like they they leak these news stories and they're like whatever we'll just play the game but we'll buy the game when it comes out and put a review up 10 days later who cares yeah you know, no, no like if you're, you're gonna get fallout for, well, for fallout like for. a journalism company like like kotaku that's detrimental if they have to do something later than other people well the, the, they 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 actually see it as a, a benefit because they rather put the review up when they've had a week with the game or two weeks with the full finished version of the game yeah. as opposed to like a preview build so <laughs> office style looking at the camera right there um, no, I'm only doing that. <laughs> no, that wasn't about you. That was about this game. No, I know. I know. <laughs> that was funny. That I know exactly funny. what it was about, but uh, I thought that was funny. So, yeah, they, they hold by their decision. They think it's... Uh, that's cool, they, though. They like it. And to be fair, like, I love... I like the blogging style of Kotaku better than, like, the IGN. I, we were yeah. talking about this earlier. Yeah. The, like, IGN is so... They're so journalistic. Dude, I... Oh, I'm gonna break this controller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm sure there are some stories in the wall around here of Steve getting mad at... Games. Actually, uh, I <laughs> another one. I I broke a controller because of Bloodborne. Like recently? I'll take it. Um, oh, not if, recently. If you, years ago. Oh, you, what the hell? I wasn't done. If oh, you if I you thought, I thought you were giving up. Here if you, you open that up. drawer, there is a white controller. And <laughs> don't the, break the, that thing. The analog stick. This isn't breaking. Is just, I don't break controllers. No, no, I'm saying him. Don't break that thing. I will be pissed off. What, this, I've seen. I saw that at Target. I saw that at Target, and I was perfectly willing oh. to spend sixty dollars on a controller for a console I don't even know because that thing is fucking awesome. For those who don't know what he's talking about, I have the 20th anniversary. Oh, come on! Hold it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up. I have the, the 20th 
anniversary PS4 controller. Modeled after the original PlayStation. And it's fucking awesome. Here you go, Joe. I but yeah, I had I had a white controller and I loved it. And I was playing Bloodborne and I got to this boss called the Abhorrent Beast, who I don't give a fuck what anybody says. It's the most annoying boss in the game. Is it the final? And, no, it's not even a. It's an optional boss. It's oh, in a right. chalice dungeon. And he's so fucking hard and annoying. And after dying to him like 20 mm. times, I punched my controller out of anger and the analog stick like bent all the way. <laughs> Can I, you use it? Still? I couldn't fix it now because the analog stick. This one is like permanently to the side. Oh, I can't so it, fix so it. it moves you? It yeah, moves it moves in like okay. a circle. That's that's disappointing. Yeah, it sucks. You can make that work. But I tried fixing it. I couldn't do it. Dude. Um, can we get like a death counter on this or something? I'll, I'll let you know. At the, uh, no, so, not this level. They won't let you know. But uh, I think you can exit out if you just want to go to the original. Absolutely not. Is, is it a challenge now? Can't accept yeah, defeat. I, I've you, gotten so close. You need to unlock the character for Steve. That's what you got to do. Is that what um, this is? Is that what I'm doing Yeah, here? you unlock the whatever character you're playing as you unlock in the warp zones, right? Is that how it works? I think that's, I think that's, that's the warp zones. Yes. Um, so, uh... I guess um, I'm, I'm the news source here. Are you still talking about? Well, you, you are the news well, source. We never finished oh. the oh, Assassin's on, so Creed close. discussion. Okay. Um, I love that they're taking that year off because it honestly, it actually kind of pissed me off that they kept releasing an Assassin's Creed game every year. We should say allegedly taking a year off. That I hope they are. I hope, I hope I don't it's know true. Frame, so. I hope it's true. Like, mm, Illuminati confirmed. Yeah. Like, honestly, I haven't played Assassin's Creed uh, <laughs> Syndicate. I hear it's amazing. That, that's what it's called. I right? hear it's really great. So I hear it's a one. complete turnaround from Unity. <sighs> I hear the controversial opinion. I liked Unity <gasps> a lot. I like Unity too. Oh, I no. like, but see, I like I like I like, oh, God, I so like them all to a certain extent. Um, but I hear Syndicate is genuinely a good game. Like not like not even a good Assassin's Creed game. It's a good game, which is which is a lot of people that's saying something for the Assassin's Creed franchise. Like yeah. it's good for what it is. But I think. I, I agree with you, and it'll give me time. I'm still, I'm still half with their Unity. I have Rogue to catch up on and Syndicate whenever I, I get it. Rogue, Rogue Once, is apparently great too. Here, here's the thing: the last game in the Assassin's Creed franchise that I really loved, three, right? Yes, that I was like, this game is fucking sick. Was <laughs> Assassin's Creed three, and I know that's like the one everybody doesn't like because yeah. it's like it's kind of glitchy. Uh, nobody is that, is that Black Sail or Black Flag? No, or Black Flag is awesome. Fuck Black Flag. Fucking, all right? How do you not? That's like the only one I played. Fuck pirates, fuck pirates Black Flag. Great. I have Black Flag. I have it. Yeah, guys, I, by the way, I have to say thank you for talking about something that's mildly interesting because if anybody just had to watch <laughs> me play this stupid fucking game, they'd probably they'd be on the server for like Listen, two hours. Whenever, whenever this podcast gets fans, they'll come back to watch this video and all the comments will be about how much you suck about suck at Super Meat Boy. Yeah. But everybody sucks. Yeah, and then I want to come back Super like you're just later. give Dude. Mac the controller. Back. Dude, dirt. Yes. Absolutely not. I have to be this level. I got so far. Dude, I spent so much time could, on it. That could be your new catchphrase. Give Mac the controller back. Oh, yeah. Totally great catchphrase. Right? Yes. Anyway. Okay. Anyway, so. Fuck Black Flag, right? <laughs> fuck That's Pirates. Great. Uh, fuck sailing, mm -hmm. and fuck taking. Yo, do you know those trailing missions nobody liked? Let's take those and trailing just mission. make you trail people okay. on a boat. That's a legitimate that. complaint. That's but, a legitimate complaint, especially when you have to go through the giant red circles of sa ships sailing. Like yeah, that it's like them. if you go through this red circle, they're going to shoot at you, That's and you annoying. might die. Fuck that. I agree. The sailing part, I love. I love the pirate aspect of it. What the I, fuck? I I thought it was great. It was. I love pirates too. Pirates are a big big love of mine. Uh, not um, me. Um, I'm, I'm more. If you're gonna go in that spectrum, I'm more of a ninja guy, like ninja guy, like, like, like Naruto. That's like antique internet Naruto? right there. Yeah, you know what I've been doing for the last like three days. Watching Naruto. How you sent me a Snapchat. The intro. <laughs> wow, that was a. How, anyway, how dude. That? So speaking of Naruto intros, the fucking fighting dreamers. Pivotal music of my entire life has come from that show. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Is it fighting dreamers? My God. We no. are fighting dreamers. Gami, 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 That's not Japanese. I know the Japanese. I'm not going to um, embarrass myself. But please, please embarrass yourself. Please do, please, please do it. Anyway. Nobody here is going to judge you. <laughs> but the internet. So I really liked Connor as an assassin. Connor is my favorite assassin in the whoa, franchise. Whoa. It's not Ezio like everyone else's because Ezio got annoying. Ezio got overplayed. He was cool in Assassin's Creed 2, but after that it was like, who the fuck's Ezio? No, it was so close! And I don't care about no. Ezio anymore. Why they make three games based on Ezio? Fuck Ezio. He's a cool name, but fuck Ezio. <laughs> Um, um, Connor's cool. I like Connor's like he was kind of naive because he wanted to save his people, but he was also very like upfront and to the point. Like the one line in the game that always stands out to me is when, spoiler alert for this game that came out in 2012, um, is when you 
are talking to George Washington, and George Washington's like, oh, you need to do this. And he's like, fine, this is the last victory I bring you. And it's like, fuck, dude. Talking, he's, talking to old George like that. Yeah, it's like... Talking to good old George like Connor that. Connor is a badass. I loved Connor. No! I'm a fan of, uh... I, I like Edward Kenway. He's pretty cool. I love the story that... I, I like the fact that he is an assassin who, who doesn't even care about it like he's all in it for the money he's all in it for the plunder all in it for the fame he just puts the robes on because it meets it, it meets zen but he's yeah. still a good assassin on top of that oh, here, i like that here's another thing Odd Wally is a great here's the thing about Con about edward that also kind of bothered me like how the fuck does he know how to do all these fancy free running stuff like it's a pirate, man. doesn't make any that's, that's <laughs> not justified do that shit. like Come here's on. the thing it's Listen. always it's always explained like it and then, and then in Black Flag, they like they just throw it out the I'll fucking window. Here's the thing, Assassin's Creed 1, Altier was raised, born to do this stuff. He was trained from birth. Ezio climbed with his brother. He, you know, fucking doesn't explain the leap of faith shit, but he still, he knows how to climb because he did that with his brother. Connor, like, grew up as a Native American Indian, like, Man. climbing trees and shit. Like, he knows how to do this stuff. What the fuck's Edward's story and how does he know how to do this shit? And then after Edward's story, they don't explain it. Like, how does uh, Arno from Unity know how to climb shit? Like. Fuck Black Flag, all right? I guess that I guess I guess that you do make a good point there, but it's suspension of disbelief, you know. It's like you gotta if you're playing a video game at the end of the day. Oh, God, here you can try a it. video game that this is. Let me try okay, a go. video game that used to be like, yo, this game's slick, you dicky. Assassin's Creed One was a terrible game. It was bad. You ever you've gone back and played it before? The first game it was repetitive. It like, but isn't that what people liked about it? Fuck. I, no, I, the only reason, no, like, the only everyone reason, hated that it was repetitive. Like, everyone. See, the way I've heard it described is Assassin's Creed 1 was a great concept with a terrible game around it. Assassin's Creed 2 get, made that better. Yeah. And then since then, it's been on a steady decline, according to, to, to most people. And Syndicate brought it back because it brought a lot of stuff to the table. The setting was really great. The characters are really great. I personally, I'm a huge... <laughs> I'm a, I died, like... The same way four times. <laughs> well, how do you think I feel, dude? That's like times forty for me. I'm a huge fan of uh, female protagonists. Uh, I will always play. I would always default at the female protagonist, and the fact that Assassin's Creed. If crazy. you play World of Warcraft, would you play a female character? I, I have. Because you get to look at that butt. That's not the reasoning. I just think I think. Yeah, because you look at the ass the whole time. I think strong female characters are great. Okay. <laughs> shake, shake that ass. Yeah, strong ass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, sometimes. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> Why do you think I feel? I so, did it. I fixed it. Yeah, Assassin's Creed. Getting delayed here, potentially. Um, um and then Egypt? Gonna... Here's the thing about Egypt. Is there things to climb on in Egypt? Fucking pyramids. Yes, dude, pyramids. Yeah, so it. what? There's three of them. There's three pyramids There's, you can climb on. There, I'm pretty... Then that's the whole of the game is going to be the pyramids. Depending on when pyramids it, are. Depending on when it was set, like, there are... Like, if you think about... Little get into a little history here. If you get to think about, like, Alexander the Great times, there were cities in Egypt. Like, big cities. You know what I mean? Like was, long, dude, can you like fucking go on that Nile River and be like, listen that'd be, see, that'd be pretty cool. You know, River's if they're gonna make no, an Egyptian no, I'm, game, if, if, if they're definitely gonna be climbing, if on they the can pyramids. make it work, if they can make it work, that'd be cool. I'm not doubting them and be like, Egypt, Pff, why Egypt? Depends on what team's making it. I think I, I don't know particulars, but I know like different different teams work on the different games. Um, I, I know there was rumors that they were announced that uh, I think. Uh, with their like annual call, like their stocks to shareholders meeting, like they call the thing. Yeah. They're going to talk about that and uh, announcing Watch Dogs 2 that's coming out this year. I heard Those that they're the going to announce it at 2016 E3. Yeah, that's the rumors. And that Watch Dogs 2 oh, is going to be like which, their big title instead of Assassin's Creed. Which, by the way, fuck Watch Dogs as well. I, I hate Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs is an awful game. See, that's the thing. The thing with me is I, I didn't buy it. It was one of the games I was looking out for, but that just passed me by. And then, see, with me playing so many games and I have such a big backlog, I feel as though waiting for reviews to come out is, is a godsend because I'm like, well, then I guess I won't get that game. Dude, but uh, once upon a midnight jury, I fucking made a review for Watch Dogs. It has great concept, though. It's a great concept. It's a great concept, but awful execution. But Assassin's Creed 1 had the same thing. It's a great concept, awful execution. Assassin's Creed 2 was awesome. But here's the thing about that. <laughs> that was in 2007, and that was like, so in, in terms of Ubisoft, Assassin's Creed was like the first of its kind in terms of like open world games, you can do all this crazy shit. And Watch Dogs I'm is sure like there's... way after the fact. Watch Dogs is way fucking... But it wasn't the same team working on it, was it? Watch Dogs, alright. Watch Dogs has good shooting mechanics, has a good cover mechanic, but in terms of story, in terms of characters, in terms of driving... See, I haven't played it, so I don't The know. characters are stupid. There's only one good character in the whole game. The driving is terrible. The only thing it's, I know about Watch Dogs is that it sucked. The, <laughs> literally every 
every mission in Watch Dogs, the first thing you do is go on your phone, do the thing where you like just make a vehicle appear at the next checkpoint or whatever, and get a fucking crotch rocket because those are the only things that you can control without wanting to kill yourself. Which is <laughs> fuck just Watch Dogs. Have you seen the GTA 5 mod Watch Dogs? You can pack into the the traffic lights and the, the, this? the okay. barriers. It seems pretty cool. You could have barriers come out of the ground and stop cars. You could and, have. Uh, oh, that's another thing. The just whole, out of the ground. Out of, the, yeah, the, the whole yeah. badass. The whole the whole hacking mechanism. Like it's cool at first, and then it gets so old because you can only hack like four different things. You can hack the lights. You can hack the barriers. You can hack like manholes that come out from the fucking ground. What is that? How does that work? The you know the manhole covers. I know what I, manhole covers. Manhole covers. I, I, I assume they he increases the pressure and then it explodes. Okay, that makes sense. Um, that makes sense. So you can only control like some things, it's and super elite it's hacking. just not good. I don't like Watch Dogs. But that being said, there's a lot of stuff to do, and I didn't feel like I wasted my money on it. It was just, it was just really. I was playing it. I was so disappointed, and every it was one of the few games where, as I was playing it, I was like, like it just in the normally you play the game, you're like oh it's pretty cool, and then you kind of reflect on it, and then you're like, it, it was not that cool. But like with Watch Dogs, as I was playing it, I was like, "This game fucking sucks!" Like, why? <laughs> why am I playing this Did you still? Beat it? I beat, I platinumed Jeez. it. I got oh every my trophy. God, that's that's a Watch little... Dogs, really? Yeah, I, guess I platinumed I, it. I, I did the that. same thing in Assassin's Creed, and it's it's probably like I don't know how I had the time to spend on it, but I I think I beat Assassin's Creed twice, and then I finally went back to play it again because I was going through the series and I wanted to 100% the game. And 100% in that game requires you to have a map out and Xing out the flags and Templars you get because oh. there's no in-game checking system for that. Yeah. Unlike the rest of them. It's, it's a nightmare. Uh, oh. No to viewers, see, don't ever see. try to 100% Assassin's Creed 1. It's terrible. But I did it. Um, it's get awful. your hand out of my way. But here's the thing. You, I never gave my opinion on Assassin's Creed 1. It is very dated. In fact, I say aside from Assassin's Creed 3, which might sound biased as fuck, it's, I think they're all pretty. They don't age well. They're all pretty. They're I, all pretty. They're you're all here to hear first. They're all, they're all pretty. <laughs> they're all pretty, I, but see, they don't look, age I, well. I drank this all in about five minutes, so... It was back to me a little bit. Um, you put a lot of rum in that. You did. <laughs> I did. I, I, that's how that's I make fine. them. But, um... I, I hope you liked it. Here's the thing, right? Assassin's Creed 1, I loved it, alright? And then, everyone was bitching about the repetitiveness, and I was like, but the missions you do, like, you, you eavesdrop, you, you get the information... You do three you, things. You, you do your thing. No. And you can do more than that. <laughs> you can do more than that. You can do more than that. When you do but main but it, it was like, it was like you're, you were an assassin. Like, that's what an assassin does. And then, when I was like on like the lull of uh, like I don't have any games to play really, I was like becoming a, a total achievement whore. And I was like, what game can I 100% pretty easily? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> no! What, what was that? He got to the last oh. spike and failed. You saw, I'm gonna have to- Muscle memory. I'm gonna have to fucking do that shit. Look <laughs> at that peak. Um, it's a good peak. But I, I, I have no excuse. Um, but anyway, so I went back I was like, I can, I can 100% Assassin's Creed so 1. Close. I always wanted to. I had the time to do it now because it was like over the summer, you know, mm -hmm. no school. Um, and as I was playing it, I was like, this game is really bad. Like at the time, I was like, dude, the free running's so tight and awesome. And then you go back to it, and you're like, compared it's, to the recent titles, it's really bad. No, even compared to two. Like I remember when two first came out, I was like, dude, the free running sucks. I'm like going all over the place. I'm going like everywhere besides the place I want to go in terms of like jumping onto a wall or a ledge. Is this Assassin's like, Creed still? Yeah. yeah. Assassin's Creed One was like way better with the mechanics. And then I played Assassin's Creed One again, and I was like, this game isn't good. And then, <laughs> but and then there's one there's one thing that sticks into my head when I was trying to hundred percent it. I was getting all the flags Come in the on. kingdom, you know, the mountainous area yeah. between cities. Um, and what happened was I was climbing one of the lookout points because I was being <laughs> I got discovered, so I was like, I'm, I'm gonna hide, I'll climb up to the top of the watchtower, I'll dive into the haystack, I'll be fine. And there was also a flag right behind the watchtower, so I needed to be there anyway. And as I was climbing it, I got pelted by like 20... The rocks? No, yeah. did you know how normally it's like one rock, you're like, ugh, and you like kind of fall off? I got pelted by like 20 rocks. Here we go. It's like a machine gun. I'm about to win. Remember, no! You suck, dude. I got... I got pelted by tr like 20 rocks. It was like a machine. I was like, <gasps> and it, I'm, not, I'm not excited. It wasn't like, duh, duh. it was like a fucking, like the sound effect was ridiculous. And I got pushed into the building. I clipped through the building and I got stuck inside so of there. So I had to restart my checkpoint. A 10 year old game, not even, not 10 years old yet, but like almost it was, got glitched out. That's it amazing. was ridiculous. I got pushed through the building, but from rocks. Oh my God, that was awful. Woo. Dude, high five. You still got more levels to do, but high five. You know, you know who Peter Molyneux is? 
the developer behind Fable. Yes. You know, he, he has a very large ego, and he yeah, makes and he, promises about games. Yeah, that, and almost every Fable game he makes, besides two, is really shitty. Yeah. Well, um, so he, somebody hacked his Twitter, and uh, news <laughs> news agencies are putting it out as him. He, he His Twitter account tweeted out that he was leaving the games industry, and it's been a great run, and his biggest regret was Fable 3, because it, it sucked. Because it was terrible. Yeah. And that's what he said in his tweets. And then uh, later on, everyone found out that he's been hacked, but they had reported this actual news for a little bit. And I that's think that's awesome. amazing. He said, oh, my new game, God, uh, God, God, whatever, is being pulled from the Steam store. Thanks everyone for the great memories. I love I love this industry, but it's time for me to leave or something like that. And uh, he's like, oh, my account's been hacked. You can tell because I, every, they spelled everything right. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> fuck Fable 3. That game was free with gold. I was like, yo, a Fable game? Sweet. I love Fable 2. And yeah. it's terrible. The controls are awful. You're like a fucking, like, you're like a drag racer when you fucking walk. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, Fuck Fable 3. Yeah, Fable 2 is, is a good game. I don't think I've ever I finished like it. I, there are so many games that I've played but haven't finished. I have like, Same. I can just list my backlog. I have some Witcher 3, Fallout 4, I want 100% the Master Chief Collection, I want 100% Assassin's or Halo 5, I have Rise of the Tomb Raider that I bought that I never even started, and I love the first Tomb Raider. I want 100%, I want 100 Tomb Raider, I have to play Dead Space 2, Dead Space 3, Borderlands, I need to get Tales. Borderlands? No, uh, I need to get Borderlands 2. That's like it. irrelevant now. But, well, so I, but he, he hasn't played them though. I, I mean, haven't played. He wants, he wants I, to. I, I've gotten like half of the Borderlands. I think you can't play Borderlands without friends though. That's that's not true. I, I still so I'm boring. A, I'm a huge solo gamer. I I really don't like for social interaction in games. I can do either war. Yo, yeah. look at Chuck go. Yo, shit. I forgot that <laughs> Give back the controller to Mac. Um. Yeah, I don't really have a backlog. I guess you can consider all of the PS Plus games I haven't played yet a backlog. But the only games I'm looking forward to are like Mirror's Edge, Dark Souls 3. Oh, yeah. oh we can talk about that Mirror's upcoming Edge. games that we're excited Final, for. Final, what's up? We can talk about upcoming games we're excited for. Oh yeah, we okay. started that. We never finished it. Okay. Um, But yeah, I'm excited for uh, Mirror's Edge, Dark Souls 3, my most anticipated game of all time, Final Fantasy 15, and Persona 5 as of this year. There's other games coming out that like Kingdom Hearts 3, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, but no one knows when they're coming out. But Square Enix is promising. They're very adamant. They're so adamant. Like, listen, guys, it's happening that they're releasing it this year. In fact, in March, they're having a conference talking about the release date, which is weird to me. It's like getting it's like making a party announcing yeah. another party. Yeah, that's, that's, what, what, it's that's, like. that's what it feels like. Absolutely. 15? Yes. Okay. And uh, you can promise we'll be talking about that when that comes out. Because sure I fucking love Final Fantasy uh, 15. The demo <laughs> is amazing. Um, but yeah, other than that, there's not really any games coming out that I'm really excited for. Dark Souls 3? I said Dark Souls 3. You said that, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's really the only game on my list. Um, it's the only game I have pre-order currently. Uh, I still have to do that. Yeah, 20% off. Um, Amazon, Amazon Prime. Uh, Dark Souls 3. Um, I, maybe Final Fantasy 15, depending on how it gets reviewed, I think. Like, or how it looks. Take my word on it. Well, see, yeah, I'll, I'll see what you think, but... Oh, speaking of which, Joey. Uh, I haven't told you this. You can guarantee we're going to be doing a playthrough of Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> oh, on our, on our soup and pasta? Fuck yeah, yeah dude. Hey, maybe by then that game. To get an and, copy. In fact, here's what's going to happen We're going to record me playing the game when I first get it, and I might cry. <laughs> yeah. I, I've been, and I'll be here to witness it. I've been uh, waiting for the game, like I said, 10 years. 10 years. And if I finally get my hands on it, I'll cry. I'll cry. I, I feel like the, the night it's released, we're going to be making. And most likely uploading a Let's Play unboxing video. Yes. We, yeah. we will. <laughs> an unboxing gonna, video. Here's what the game comes with: the disc, <laughs> Final Fantasy 15, the uh, warning booklets, um, the if you have history of seizures, see your doctor before playing this game. Yeah. What if it comes out the week of RTX? That it's, week. Are you gonna bring it? You gonna bring your PS4? I, I will. Yeah. 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 Um. By the way. Yo. Speaking of RTX, Mr. Laser Team. Yeah. We can talk about that. Laser Team. Who, if you don't know. Rooster Teeth, who I'm pretty sure everybody who is on the internet knows about Rooster Teeth. They made a movie called Laser Team that was funded by Indiegogo, independent stuff. They made like $2.5 million, right? Yeah, Chucky? $2.5 million. I think it was the highest they made or they, they, they gathered they They, they gathered million. through Indiegogo, through their community, giving them money and What's the word and donating. They made that much money. That's it. Yeah, yeah crowdfunded. crowdfunded. And they made a movie called Laser Team. Dude, and I swear to God, this is pissing me off. And, I'm not even playing. <laughs> <laughs> and just before recording this, uh, Chucky and I have seen it. Yeah. And what are your thoughts, Chucky? I think it was pretty good. Um, it uh, I, I read some reviews beforehand, and it was definitely like a hit or miss with a lot of people. The jokes are, what you if you watch you see that's what you expect. They're kind of juvenile yeah. in a way. Um, the story is kind of derivative of a lot of things. You can see a lot of influence there with like, um, 
like old eighties movies yeah. and stuff like that. But it's good. I think it was a good time. I think it was funny. It was really cool seeing the Roost Tooth logo on a huge screen. I've been a hit, huge fan of them for like for yeah. like eight years at this point. Like yeah. they're a huge, huge influence in my life. Like I literally would not be where I am today without them. But like like physically, like I, like I would never go to school in California or anything like that. Yeah. Because of all the stuff they exposed me to. Um, but and it, so it was like it was. I feel like it was made for me, for people who like me, like for yeah. fans. And I'm excited about it because if it does okay, which it probably will, yeah, it it'll mean that they'll make more, and I think they'll, they usually get better over time. Like I'm, I'm a huge like Red versus Blue got so much better over time. I hear mm. Ruby's actually pretty good now, and yeah. I never really cared for Ruby in the beginning. Yeah, me neither. Um, their RT shorts, I mean, have gotten better production values at least. Their RT podcasts are a lot funnier than they used to be. Yeah, their Team and Hunter, I, I like watching. So I think I'm, I'm hopeful for it. It was good. I laughed. I laughed. So I, I was worried that I wouldn't, but I did. <laughs> My thoughts are pretty much the same thing on Laser Team, where it's like, all right, if you if you like Rooster Teeth, if you're a fan of Rooster Teeth, you're going to like this movie a lot because there's 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 a lot of cameos, there's a lot of like little subtle nods to be like, do you like our content? You'll like this. But as I was watching the movie, I was trying to like watch it from like an outsider standpoint, and I can totally see somebody who's not a fan of Rooster Teeth not really getting the movie because the story is kind of generic uh some of the acting falls flat a lot of the jokes are pretty uh well like you said it was community fed right yeah well a the lot, only reason it made I, the theaters is because of the community yeah a lot of the jokes are pretty cringy like some i did laugh it was funny but a lot of the jokes didn't work for me but that being said i did really like the movie it's like like chucky said i it was really nice seeing rooster teeth like their logo coming up on the big screen. And then during the credits, like seeing everyone's names in the yeah. credits that I knew, it's like, cause I also love Rooster Teeth and you're also a huge influence on me. It's like, I watched Rooster Teeth content and I was like, I want to do that. And here I am trying to do it. So Rooster Teeth is awesome. Yeah, I think they're a huge, I love they're, like a, they're a huge influence on online media in general. Even if you don't know who they are, you've probably encountered something that they've directly influenced or people that they've directly had contact with because they've been in the game for like, oh no, they've been in the game for like how many years now? 2003. Like, 2003. So that's, that's what, 15 years? Almost? Yeah, around there. That's 13 years. 12 years. 13 years. Almost 15. So that's what I said. So 15, 13, 13 years. 13 years. And they, they, they had their own website. They were around before YouTube was invented. Yeah. It, it's, it's, uh, they're, they're a huge deal. And I think it's really cool that they're finally moving into like, I mean, like, I don't think they need to. I think they're really popular and really yeah, successful the online. Yeah, they don't really need to move to the but big screen. But I think it's cool. Like, they, if they yeah. want to branch out like that, then let them yeah. do it. It's like they want to try bigger things. Um, and also, like uh, Chucky said, um, while this movie did have, like, a couple shortcomings, it was also... It's also, like, a huge... It, It's like... They're good to make more movies, obviously. I think they will. It's like there's no doubt they're gonna make more, and they will definitely, without a doubt, be better. Because I, there's no, they're good. Obviously, they're just going to fucking, they're gonna read the reviews, be like, all right, so the Rooster Tooth fans loved it, but maybe next time we can try to appeal to like everyone, so they'll like read the comments about people who aren't <gasps> into Rooster Teeth and be like, all right, let's not do that next time because it didn't really work for people who didn't know who we are. Here's a so, question: Are they gonna release the movie on like YouTube? Yeah, it's, it's actually it's a YouTube Red production. It's a YouTube Red original movie, so um. They, uh, they're owned by Full Screen Media, which is like a YouTube, I'm pretty sure it's YouTube, it's like a channel, like, collection of channels. Yeah. Um, they're owned by them. Uh, I actually don't know how the specifics of that, but they're essentially owned by them. I'm they funded it with the Indiegogo, and then YouTube Red is the distributor, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm pretty sure Google helped to get into theaters. I'm pretty sure that's the only reason that's a traditional theatrical release. Um, but it, it is premiering on YouTube Red, I think in February at some point, for YouTube Red subscribers only. Yeah. So it's like 10 bucks a month to get access to it. Really? Yeah. I don't know YouTube had a service like that because if it's owned by Google, they have the Google Play. Yeah, well, YouTube Red is just, YouTube is essentially just like their uploading and streaming service. And YouTube Red allows you ad free videos, original content. Um, I know PewDiePie is making like a, uh, like a live action, almost like Five Nights at Freddy's kind of show, I think. Like a, like what? a. What? Not like, not like that. I think it's, I, from what I understand. I, Isn't I, that I'm how Markiplier wrong. got famous? Just yeah. through Five Nights at Freddy's? Something yeah. like that. Apparently, but he's doing like a horror show in like real life. Yeah, apparently Markiplier is being in the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's movie that's being made. Oh, really? That's which like I also think, honestly, my honest opinion is that a Friday night, Five Nights at Freddy's movie is a stupid idea. I, it could work. I mean, it, it can work, but, but how? at Maybe. first thought, 
I don't like the idea. I'm open. I'll, I'll see it and be like, oh, and I'll give my honest opinion on it. I'm not going to be biased or an asshole. But as of now, I don't. I don't like the idea. How about, um, speaking of movies, video game adaptions, uh, how do you feel about Warcraft and Assassin's Creed? Warcraft, I am so fucking excited don't for Warcraft. Don't hit the table, you I'm fool. sorry, I know. Um, <laughs> anyway. Warcraft. Um, every time I see the trailer, I'm just like, honestly, I, I'm not trying, I don't want to be an asshole, because Joey just expressed his excitement. Every time I see the trailer, I'm, I'm never, I'm not impressed. At all. I, it's just like, it looks like a Lord of the Rings knockoff, kind of. I, I have to. And you don't know what you're talking about, and, Steve. I, and I feel like the CGI is not as good as I thought it would be. I, what do you mean? Like, it's great. You, you can tell that the orcs are crazy CGI. Like, it, there's CGI that looks real, and then there's CGI that you can, like, for example, in The Force Awakens, new Star Wars movie, you can tell that Snoke and um, Maz Kanata are CGI. It's the same way with the orcs. It, 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 it gets rid of that disbelief. Like, it, it kind of pulls me out of the movie. See, I think... Like, um, yeah, I think... And, 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 uh, and, and the reason why it's weird is because World of Warcraft has these crazy CGI trailers for their expansions, and the CGI is, like, phenomenal. And I expect it to be, like, tenfold with a well, live-action movie, and it's not, in my opinion. Blizzard designed those CGI cutscenes. They had nothing to do with the movie. Thank but they, well, they, but they, they have something like, they 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 to do with it. the animation and... No, the, no, they didn't. What do you it was mean? all done by um, I can't remember the studio, but Blizzard didn't do any of the like the the CGI work. Then what's Blizzard doing show? with this movie? They, they just they didn't don't, don't don't they have a say in like what? Yeah, they, what's going they, have, on? they had a say in how, like the storyline, but they didn't have a say in how they designed the characters and like them. drew them. Well, maybe it's just a trailer. Maybe if I see the actual movie, which I plan to, uh, I'll change I my also mind. I to see that. Like, but night. as of now, I'm not impressed by it. I will see it. I think it's cool that they're making it. Uh, but when I first heard that it was going to be a live-action movie, I was like, why? Their CG trailers are fucking awesome. Why not just make it a CG movie like like a Final Fantasy Advent Children? They made that CG. and I, I They want to they want the, the, the movie to reach to a broader audience, though. And when you yes. make a movie like that where it's just all CGI, it, 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 gets, it gets marketed yeah. as like a kid's movie. Yeah, I, I can exactly. see that. Exactly. That's why like, the Final Fantasy Advent Children didn't... Well, that's also not a theatrical release. I mean, how many yeah, adult yeah. animated movies have you Yeah, like, seen? how many adult animated movies? This could be the first one! Seen? They could have broken new ground! They could have done crazy shit. Well, they, they wouldn't have broken new ground. They just would have, if they if they done it successfully, would have reached They could have been like, part. yo, this movie? I feel like they would pander more to their World of Warcraft audience. And yeah, but you're still on this level, dude. You're killing me. We've been on this level for like four hours. The, the World of Warcraft <laughs> audience is, is a lot less. Like, there's like, what, a couple million subscribers? That, that's not enough to, to make a movie. I guess. Successful. Um. I, I'm not excited for it, but I will see it just because, like, I'm not excited because of the trailer. I'm excited because of the prospects of, like, seeing all that, that world yeah. on the full screen. And, like, you, like when the flip Remember when they released the uh, interactive trailer where you could, like, look That around. was fucking awesome. Yeah, that was, was cool. So cool. Stormwind looks amazing. They released set photos of, like, the, the notice board where you can accept quests and everything. Really? Yeah, they, they released a lot of set photos. God, I can't make that jump. You want to try? Yes, I would like to. No, um, but I've had enough of this game. To answer your other question, Assassin's this, Creed. Yeah, Assassin's Creed. Um, I would be excited for it. Mm -hmm. I kind of am, but they don't. They haven't shown anything about it. Well, it's been. It's a year out still. Are you about the movie? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I heard of something about there, that. There are some pictures of Michael Fassbender in costume, and I think it looks okay. But yeah, in action. See, that's the same way. Um, I feel about Rogue One right now because I'm so, I'm pumped for Star Wars Rogue One, but. I need to see a trailer. What is Star Wars yeah. Rogue One? It's, it's, it's a an anthology film. Yeah, they're doing spin-offs now in between the main saga movies. That uh, the first one is going to be about the rebel pilots who stole the Death Star plans before A New Hope, Episode Four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, then they're doing a solo Han Solo movie. So uh, um, that takes place before A New Hope. Um, see, yeah, uh, people people are weird about that. They need to get a good actor. And Phil Lord and Chris Miller, who directed 21 Drop Street, 22 Jump Street, and the Lego Movie, are doing it. I love those movies. Those are great directors. I hate the Lego Movie. I've Lego never, Movie is awesome. You know, I, I haven't seen the Lego Movie, but I love the 22. Yeah. And you, would, you would like it just because of the animation involved. Oh, it's, the animation is great. Amazing. Yeah. I but love it. it. Why do you it's like just, it? Uh, everything is awesome. Like that's like that's <laughs> the point. It's making fun of that. It's 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 just, that song is a satire on that type of music. Yeah, sure Joey. Yeah, I'm sure. Right over your head. It's the Lonely Island. The Lonely Island sings that. It's a, it's a satire. The Lonely, Lonely Island. Island sings that. Yeah, and um. Fuck. And uh, God, I forget the other. There's another group that does it, but they're like super. I think they're super satire-ish too. Um. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh. A lot of the stuff in the later half of the year, I'm really excited for. Um. 
I feel like the Warcraft thing is the same thing with Batman or Superman. I'm gonna see it. I'm not too excited about it. I'm not excited about the Batman. I don't think Superman. it's gonna be very yo, good, but yo, speaking of exciting movies, <laughs> Suicide Squad. No, oh. Deadpool. Deadpool. Oh, yeah, Deadpool. I am. Yeah. I am so pumped for Deadpool. Deadpool we were actually awesome. we saw, they played the trailer um when we saw Laser Team, and it's like I was just telling Chucky earlier. I didn't told you, Joey. I feel like it's one of those things where it's like too good to be true. The movie looks so good. It's like. I feel, see, like, I feel like it's not going to be that good. See, I'm what, really worried. That's, that's what you could have said about Force Awakens. Force Awakens looked awesome, and it was so good. True. Like, yeah, Force Deadpool's Awakens. going to be great. Um, uh, 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 a little side note, Force Awakens, I'm seeing it for the fourth time tomorrow. Why? Who with times. who? Uh, my sister's boyfriend, actually. I've seen it four times. Too. I love The Force Awakens. That movie, movie is so it's a great movie. good. It's a good movie. Um, four times in the theater? Four, four times. Bucks. It's four worth it. Bucks. It's worth it to me. It's worth it. I, I have a pre-order in Blu-ray, too, so I'm spending more money. Um, I've never... I think I've only watched a movie in theaters twice. It was Monsters University. It's the only movie I ever saw twice. <laughs> Did you like it that much? I, no, I think it was because I was dating a girl at the time and she really wanted to see it. But okay. Before The Force Awakens? It was a great Awakens. movie. I'm not going to deny yeah. that. I haven't seen Monsters University. Really? I haven't yeah. seen it either. I think I have it. Before, I before The Force Awakens, the only other movie I've seen that many times in the theaters was uh, Mad Max Fury Road. Which, by no, the way, is an amazing movie. You saw something else in theaters a bunch of times, too. Not three times. Not three yeah. or four times. I saw Mad Max three times. What was the one you saw twice, then? I saw a lot of movies twice. I saw Cabin in the Wood twice. I yeah. saw uh, Chronicle twice. That's it, Chronicle. I saw uh, Pacific Rim twice. I saw Spider-Man we 2. all about Chronicle. Chronicle's my Remember fucking jam. Remember that one jam. movie from, uh, I think, producers at MTV Fuck, made it, dude. actually. Uh, it was called... Was it the house party one you're thinking of? That's Project X, though. Yeah. Fuck that movie. That's a good movie. I, like I haven't it. seen it. It just looks really stupid. I'm not into those, like, party or, like, yo, bro, you fucking <laughs> like, get wasted tonight. Like, I'm not into that shit. It's not bad. But the I movie I'm thinking about bad is, is actually exception. about time travel. Oh, uh, Project Almanac. That's it. That movie fucked time travel in the ass and did everything completely wrong. What? Yeah. That movie was great. That movie makes no sense. It, no, it was good. I liked it. But the time travel aspect makes no fucking sense. Why? Have you seen a... There's a point in the time travel where he's like, yo, they go to fucking like Lollapalooza or whatever it's fucking called. And then he's like, yo, I could have kissed that girl, but I didn't. So he goes back in time to kiss the girl. But if he went back in time, they would have seen himself kissing like in that situation where he didn't kiss the girl and fucking time would have exploded. He would have seen himself. No, he why? wasn't there. Because he was there. Wait, because after he tries to kiss her, like he, he like. There, no, the first, the scene is he, he's talking to her on the wall where they're like doing I, I where, the where all the graffiti is, and he's like, "Yo, baby," and then he like go, he pulls away from the kiss, like, no, "Not today." And then he goes back in time, and in the same situation, in the same time, he's like, "I'm gonna try it again." He goes, and this time he kisses her. If time travel worked the way time travel was supposed to work, as it does and in that movie, in that movie, he would have did the thing. Saw himself in the situation where he turned away, and then they would have saw each other, and the things would just went crazy, and time would have exploded. Well, and it didn't happen. They see each other, they just like they repeat whatever the last word they say like a bunch of times, and they just disappear. Yeah, which is so cool. I love it, that. It would have. That's how it would have happened, and it didn't. They fucked time travel up. The best time travel movie, in my opinion, not the best, but they handled it extremely well, is Looper. Looper, with uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Bruce Willis. Ball a movie, and the oh, guy who directed Looper is directing Star Wars Episode yes, yeah. Eight. Episode Eight, and wrote Star Wars Episode Nine. And Why is JJ no? Doing it. The so person that's directing Star Wars Episode Nine, he's the one that directed They're Godzilla. Film yeah. in space. But the guy who's directing Episode Eight is writing Episode Nine. Yeah, he's and he writing. Went, and he's the guy who directed Episode Nine wants to wants to film portions of it in space. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, like um, I'm really excited. Yeah. But yeah, uh, so Deadpool. Primer. Primer's a good movie. Too. You ever see Primer? Primer? What's that? Uh, it's a time travel movie where two guys invent a time machine in their garage, and it sounds a lot like it, Project Almanac. It gets <laughs> so complicated. It's an it's a very I love low, complicated movies. It's, like a, that. it's a super underground indie movie. It gets so complicated that people have spreadsheets online of just trying to figure out how this time travel mechanics work because it like cuts certain parts and you get to get the gist of it. I haven't seen it in years, but yeah, like there are like flow charts of like the lines of where all these characters are going and they go backwards and forwards and like loops up into a giant mess and then it comes. What's out this movie end. called? Uh, Primer. What is it on, like Netflix or something? Uh, I actually don't know. I've, I watched it on Netflix years ago. Um, you can probably download it. It's called Primer? Yeah, it's called Primer. It, I'm going to have to look that up because that sounds really watch interesting. That. that sounds cool. It's, it's really complicated. It's like a really, um, it's, it mind fucks you. I mean, like, just right off the bat. But yeah, as of right now, the most the movies I'm most excited for are Deadpool, which comes out in a couple weeks, which, by the way, you can guarantee fucking review yeah. cast on that. Because I'm going to see it as soon as possible. I'm probably going to see it with Chucky. Please yeah, come with us. Weekend. It's going to be fucking awesome. It's going to be great. Um, also, the other Hopefully movie. Hopefully, it's not next weekend, though, because. No, it comes out the 12th. You're not going to be stoned. I'm going to be, uh, gonna be super stoned next week. With the uh, wisdom teeth extraction. Yeah. Um, 
But the other movie I'm most excited for, only because I'm the biggest fucking Harry Potter nerd, is uh, Beast. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Have you seen the new uh, the new stuff they released on Pottermore about the wizarding schools? No. They've detailed um, African wizarding school, Japanese wizarding school, the um, uh, Brazilian wizarding school, and then they've named the American wizarding school, but they haven't given any information on it. Shit. Yeah, it's a weird name. That's awesome, though. Like, no match. So, I'm really pumped for that. Other than that, like, there's movies that I want to see, like... Suicide Squad. Like, John and Justice and Suicide Squad. I'm, I'm not, Suicide I'm not like, Squad. super pumped, though. I'm, like, I'm so like, excited for Suicide like, Squad. Like, I see those trailers, I'm like, oh, that looks cool, I'll see that, but... Like, I saw the Fantastic Beast trailer, and I was like, holy shit! And then I saw the, uh... Deadpool trailer, and I was like, holy shit! Oh, also, um... Civil War. Civil War. Oh, Captain America yeah, Civil yeah. War. That I movie looks fucking that. sick. Doctor Strange came out this year, too, and I'm super excited for that. I haven't released a trailer for that Yeah, yet. but, uh, yeah. I'm interested. Until they show a little bit, I'm interested. I want to see it, but I'm not going to be like, yo, I'm so pumped for it until I see something. But yeah, that's it for me in terms of movies. Anything for you, Joe? Cloverfield 2. <gasps> oh, yeah! 10 Cloverfield Lane. It's technically not a sequel. But it's a spiritual success. No, it's, it's a spiritual cousin is what J.J. Abrams has it's, said. It's not, a, it's not a sequel. It's not a sequel. It's not a direct sequel. It's not the same actors. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No. no. The girl in that is, is the no, same girl she, from No, she's not. I, I, I promise you she's, she's not. not. Is she the girl from Scott Pilgrim? Yeah, she's the girl. She, <laughs> she, she plays Ramona Flowers. I forget her name. I used to... Uh, uh, Mary, Mary Elizabeth. Mary Elizabeth. That's it, yeah. yeah. And then... Uh, Mary Elizabeth John, Winstead, right? John Goodman, yeah. Yeah. John but Goodman. yeah, that's it about? It's like... From the trailer, you can gather, it's a... Takes place after the fact, yeah. and apparently, from what I've heard, I've seen the trailer. It's the girl. She gets into a car accident, and she wakes up in John Goodman's like bunker thing, and she's like, "What's this?" And he's like, "Oh, the outside world is dangerous. I can't let you leave, or you'll yeah. die." So like, she kind of like stays there, and then she gets like suspicious. Like, I feel like you're just keeping me here because you're fucking weird. So she breaks out, and in the trailer, she breaks out, and like she goes to the door because there's like a door. And something hits yeah, it, right? No, there's a door, a set of steps, and then a door to the yeah. outside world. And she goes to the outside world door, and John Goodman is at this the set of steps door, and he's like, "No, don't go out there! That's, that's don't go! Don't open that door!" And then she like stares out, like, and then it ends, and it's like ten Cloverfield Lane. It's like. And that gave me fucking goosebumps. Dude. I'm getting goosebumps just right now. Yeah, dude. I'm so excited. I'll because never, I, I'll never ever forget the first time I, I saw Cloverfield. I love Cloverfield. Because I saw it, I saw it with Tyler Carmody and two of our other friends that I saw it with we used him. to hang out with all the time. Cloverfield we saw it like opening night. Movie. Oh my god! I, like I remember the people I was with. They're like, "Oh, this movie sucks. I don't understand it at all." I'm like, "What is there not to understand? Like, there's a lot to look into it. You can think. Yeah. Of, you can. You can. You can. I feel like a lot of people didn't like it because it. of the POV. Like, I love it. Sick. I love it. I, I loved it, dude. I loved that it. was the first of its kind. Yeah, I love. Not the first of its kind. The first big. It, it, it kind Blair of like Witch wasn't. it kind of like resurrected it as being good because it was Blair Witch, which a lot of people hated, and then there was a lot of like found footage I mean, I films. Never seen it. it was a lot of found footage films that a lot of people hated, and then Cl Cloverfield came out and it was found footage and it was good, and then everybody started making found footage films and it got fucking played out. That's not true. I still like them. No, it's like still oversaturated. They don't like Chronicle. They don't make <gasps> Chronicle was good. Project Almanac. They, even even but there even there are activity. I still there like are a lot of found movies. footage films. I love Paranormal Paranormal Activity up until. I like one, two, and three. Wasn't Every, there one paranormal activity terrible. where it was mostly found footage and then sometimes they would cut to like a regular camera? No. I feel like there's a couple movies like, they, oh, a quarantine. Yeah, no. yeah quarantine was like Quarantine that. 2 was like that. Fuck quarantine. i never seen it. It looks Appar bad. Apparently the uh, Spanish version, like the original version. What, really? Yeah. It was originally yeah, it was called it's a, REC it's a Rec. Yeah. Um, huh. But yeah, other than that. I liked quarantine. So yeah, any other movies you're excited for? Oh, not that I can think of. All right. Um, well, it's been going pretty long, like an hour and a half. You have to pee really Rabbi. bad. Yeah, I gotta pee so I bad, to pee, too. Like, We're probably gonna cross stream. I'm gonna fucking piss podcast. my pants. So, um, we can't finish this level, obviously. Too fucking hard. I'll finish it immediately when the podcast is over. <laughs> right? Um, but yeah, thank you for tuning in to the very first Ravioli Castioli. Um, I'm, I'm Soup. I'm Pasta. pasta. Mac, I and This guess. is Mac. Uh, 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 Joey, Steve, and uh, Chuck. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we'll be back next week. Maybe. And then we'll be talking about the Final Fantasy 15 access time report with all the new magic features. And then we'll be talking about this fucking all the shit. And then the week after that, we'll be talking about Deadpool. And it's going to be fucking sweet. Be sure to tune in. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Say bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>